<laughs> Mama, can I answer the door? You can, Chippy Pip. Papa! Thanks for opening the door, Chip. My hands are so full, I couldn't open it myself. What's in the box, Papa? Come and see. <gasps> Hi, little Papa. Stairgate in place, I see. Sure is. To keep our wriggly giggler Totsy Tot safe. <laughs> You've tied a ribbon to the stairgate, Mama. That's right, Chippy Pip. All ready for Tot's birthday tomorrow. A first birthday bow just for you, little sister. Come and peek through this little gate now, Chip. Oh, yes, the box. Can you see, Potato? <gasps> Is that a cat? Yes, it's Kevin, our police station cat. Remember him? What's he wearing around his neck? Kevin's hurt his ear. See this bandage? He needs to wear the cone to stop him pulling his bandage off. The cone stays on until his little ear heals. Poor Kevin. I'll look after you. I hoped you'd say that. Kevin's staying here all weekend and needs some special chiplet care. <laughs> we, I mean, I can be caring. Welcome to our puggy house, Kevin. Go quietly, Chip. Our home is new to him. He's a little shy. Okay, Papa. That's great, Chippy Pug Pup. <laughs> I'll go get your things out from the car, Kevin. Out you come for kind puggy Chip while I'm gone, huh? Potato. Come say a proper hello to Kevin. It's okay, secret friend. Now you come out too, Kevin. <laughs> oh, Potato. Some cats don't get along with mice, but Kevin's friendly. You became pals at the police station, remember? <laughs> Kevin's our get well guest, and I'm going to look after him. Will you help me? Uh huh. Thanks, Potato. Our first time caring for a pet. Police patrol pug coming through. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay, Kevin. These are all your things. Ooh, is this your water bowl? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look, Papa. Kevin wants to leave. No. He just wants to explore our puggy garden. No garden this weekend, kitty cat. You might wander off, like cats do, and get lost. Oh, no. We can't lose Kevin. Hmm. Don't worry, Papa. I'll make sure Kevin has fun indoors with me on his get well weekend. Aw, what a kind and caring chippy pug pup you are. Here's your basket, Kevin, with your nice, soft blanket. <laughs> Kevin! Come to me for a very gentle puggy huggy. I think what he really wants to do is explore the house, Chip. You like exploring? Me too! That's puggy perfect. Always stroke a cat from head to tail. I think that purrs Kevin's saying he likes how you're looking after him, Chip. You could go exploring with him. Yes! Come and explore upstairs, Kevin. Follow me. I'd love to show you my snuggly bed. Come on, Kevin. Please. Great idea, Potato. We can use the toy mouse to lead Kevin upstairs. That's it, Kevin. Exploring this way. Oh, bath time, Totsy Tot. Oh, watch your ear, Kevin. Oh, I'm not sure you can get through with that head comb, little kitty. Uh -huh. <gasps> <gasps> Good job. Uh oh. Papa, I can't get through the stair gate. Help, Puggy, pleasey. Police Pug coming to the rescue. <laughs> Here, Kevin. <laughs> Should I lift you onto my bed, Kevin? Ready? I'll be careful of your ear. Yeah. Kevin, meet Orangey Rabbit and Mr. Crawly Crawler. Boodle Doo and Unlucky Ernie. Oh, no. <laughs> you can snuggle with all of them. Huh? How's kitty care going, Chip Pug? 
Heidi Potato? Huh. Kevin just does whatever he wants, Papa. <laughs> That's cats for you. Uh -uh. We, uh... I just need to stay close to him to make sure he's okay. Yes, Chiplet. That's how you take care of a cat like Kevin on his Get Well weekend. Quick, Potato, or Papa will see you. <laughs> <laughs> Down he goes. He's coping very well with his head cone. He is, Papa. Better get back to caring for Kevin. Phew. Kevin! <laughs> Potato! Play gently with Kevin, okay? Uh-huh. <gasps> the window's open. Kevin's going to go outside. <laughs> Thanks, Potato. That was close. I'm sorry, Kevin, but our house and garden are new to you. If you explore outside, you might get lost. <laughs> it's okay, Kevin. It's just our doorbell. Guess who's back? Spud! Hide in my pocket, Potato Pal. Hey, Pops! Spud! Hey, Chipster. Thank you! Welcome home from sleepaway camp, Super Spud. I missed you so much! Oh, is that my Spuddy Pug? Hi, Mama. Puggy Huggy with me and Baby Todd? Hmm. Look how she's grown. <laughs> wow, Todd's standing up. And we have a weekend visitor. Oh, Kevin? Kevin! <gasps> we should have made sure the door was closed, Potato. Uh -huh. Hey now, Chippy Pup. I'm sure Kevin won't have gone far. Uh, there's a cat by the apple tree. Is that him? <laughs> yes! I'll get him! Hey, Kevin! Come to Spud! Let me get Kevin. He'll come to me. He doesn't know you. I'm sorry, Chipolata. Oh, poor Kevin's climbed so far up. He's stuck. Don't worry, Chippy Sis. I can get him down. We learned all about tree climbing at sleepaway camp. Nice and steady now, Super Spud. It's okay, Kevin. My brother Spud's coming to get you down. Please be gentle when you pick Kevin up, Spud. I've got you, Kevin. Careful now. Can you give me a puggy back, Papa? Sure. Officer Papa, at your service. <laughs> Hold tight, Chip. <laughs> Thanks for the lift, Papa. You can hand Kevin to me now, Spud. Thanks. Hello, Kevin. I'm so pleased you're safely back down here with me. <laughs> Would you like to come upstairs and sleep on my snuggly bed with all my toys? And my potato mouse? <laughs> you want to sleep in your basket? Okay, Kevin. If this is where you feel cozy and snuggly, that's fine with me. Well, after all that puggy excitement, it's time for Betty Buys. Aw, but I'm not tired. <sighs> <laughs> you too, Chiplet. Night, night, Kevin. <gasps> Mama! Papa! My teeth are puggy clean and... Shh, shh, Chiplet. Spud was so tired that he fell asleep in his clothes. <laughs> night, Spud. I'm glad you're home. Bedtime for you too now, Chippy Pug Pup. Kevin's come to sleep on my super snuggly bed after all. He's made his way up here all on his own because you have taken such pug-tastic care of him, Chip. Curly up, safe and snug, Kevin and Chip tonight. Curly up, safe and snug, Kevin and Chip tonight. And sleepy puggy, sleepy snooze, sleepy puggy snore. Sleepy Kevin, sleepy snooze, sleepy puggy snore. Sleep tight, Potato. We have a big day tomorrow. It's Todd's first birthday. <sighs> Thank <laughs> you.
Dashery department. Wow! Happy Dashery? What's that? The Haberdashery department is where you buy fabric and sewing things. But we're not stopping here, Chip Dip. <laughs> this way, <laughs> little Huggy Pucks. <laughs> Super sliding potato. Yahoo! It's Corella, my piano teacher. Better hoodie up before she sees you, Slidey Mouse. <laughs> Hi, Corella. Hi there, little pugs. That's pugtastic fabric. I'm going to make it into a new jacket for my next music concert. Wow! You can play piano and make clothes? I know. <laughs> oh, and uh, thank you. Oh, lovely to see you, Corella, but we need to keep moving, Puggy Puffs. Bye. Bye. Bye, little chip. Whoopsie. <sighs> Sorry. Good morning, Happyton shoppers. Welcome to the Woofy Wedding Department. We've got every possible outfit for your doggy big day. Is this where we're stopping, Mama? It sure is, Pugsters. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma! <laughs> wow. Is this the dress you're going to wear when you marry Gordy? <laughs> oh, it's not quite my style, chip doodle But I have chosen my wedding outfit. <gasps> Can we see it, Grandma? Puggy, pleasey. Nope. It's a surprise. All three of you grandpups will have to wait till the wedding day. All, All three grandpups? Glenda! <laughs> <laughs> now, bring it in. Uh, I have a surprise for each of you. I would like you all to be bride's pups at my wedding to Gordy. What do you say? Yes! What is a bride's pup? I know what it is. I've been a bride's pup twice already. Bride's pups do really important jobs at weddings. It's true, Chippy Dip. Bride's pups enter the wedding first to let everyone know that the bride and groom are coming. And today, bride's pups, you can choose what to wear at the wedding. <gasps> you mean I get to choose my wedding outfit all by myself? Sure thing, Chippa Doodle. I want to wear a pretty dress. I think I'd look cool wearing a jacket. <laughs> can I wear a jumpsuit, Grandma? Of course you can, Chip. But I'd like you all to choose outfits that are the same color. Then on the day, everyone will know that you are my special bride's pups. We can all choose the same color to wear, Grandma. No puggy problem. <laughs> oh. This dress is Fabby Waggy Doodle. Puggy lovely. So, are you all happy wearing green, Bride's Pups? Yes! No. no. Aw, but the color is so fabby waggy doo Don't worry, there are plenty of other colors to choose from. We can do this! <laughs> we are the Bride's Pups! <laughs> Yay! Choosing a color to wear. Oh, 
Tito. We can't all agree on a color for our bride's pup's outfits. Aww. <laughs> Careful, mouse friend. Choosing what to wear to Grandma's wedding is much harder than I thought it would be. Wish we could find a color we all like. Oh! <laughs> Potato, wait! Where are you going? Whoa! Chippy Dip, you can't wander off by yourself in a department store. You might get lost. Sorry, Mama. <gasps> No, Spud. I am not wearing red. Well, I'm not wearing green. That's the color our rival soccer team wears. Now listen, pups. I know this is a really hard choice. It is, Mama. So I think it would be better if Grandma chooses what color you wear. <gasps> really? No. Yes. Let's go home. I'll have a think, and we can come back another day. Oh, Grandma. I'm sorry we couldn't agree on a color for your special big day. We've let you down. Oh, my chipper doodle. Please don't worry. It was a hard task. <gasps> You're back. <laughs> Cheeky potato. You know you'll have to put that truck back in the toy department before we go. Uh-huh. Oh, for me? Thanks, potato. Oh, <laughs> Uh-huh. <gasps> you think maybe there's a color on here that we haven't tried yet? Uh-huh. That's a big idea for a little mouse. Uh-huh. Sorry, Chipolata, but we've already tried all these colors. I like red. We know. I like green, and Chip likes yellow. We all like different colors. They look great all smushed together in a rainbow. Ooh, what about rainbow, rainbow colored, colored outfits? outfits. Fantastic idea! Grandma, we're not leaving. Your bride's pups can still do this together. Ooh! Want to help look for rainbow colored outfits, Potato? Uh huh. Uh -oh. Find anything? No. Me neither. Keep looking, team. Oh, I get it. You might be able to spot a rainbow-colored outfit from up there. Hmm. Nuh-uh. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> Never mind, Super Slider. <gasps> Potato, remember you slid down the rainbow fabric just before we saw Corella? Uh-huh. Linda? Spud? <laughs> Spud! I've got a pugtastic idea! Come on! Mama! Please, can we bride's pups go to the haberdashery section? Why do you want to go there, Chippy Dip? It's a surprise! Oh. <laughs> can Grandma and I come too? Yes, yes! But no puggy peeking, Grandma. Oh, <laughs> you are full of surprises, Chip. I promise I won't look until you tell me I can. Can I look yet? Yes! Oh! Ta da! Don't you like it, Grandma? No, I don't like it. <sighs> I puggy love it! Rainbow colored fabric for your bright pup outfit! Yes! <laughs> and we know who can sew them. Corolla! Let's buy it. <laughs> Whoa! Oh. What's that doing here? I nearly got a ride all the way to the toy department. Potato? <laughs> Thanks for your help today, Potato. <laughs> Do you think you can take the truck back to the toy section all by yourself? Uh-huh. Ready to go? Absolutely not! Huh? This store has a wonderful cafe, and I am not leaving until I've treated you all to an apple muffin. Apple muffins! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> my way of saying thank you for finding the perfect colors to wear to my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
My pasta fish picture is going to be the most puggy, perfect present for Tot's first birthday, Nico. She'll love it, Chip. Oh, you need to finish sticking now, Chip. The glue needs time to dry or the pasta will fall off when you move your picture. Yes, Mr. Diggerty. Tell me about your picture, Howie. It's a pasta explosion, Mr. Diggerty. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen one of those before. Finished. Chip, the glue won't be dry yet. My fish picture. It's ruined. Maybe you have time to make another one? Happy Hoppers, clear up, please. It's home time. <laughs> oh. Oh, who do? I was making a special pasta picture for Tot's birthday potato, but I didn't wait for the glue to dry and the pasta fell off. <laughs> Quick, hoodie up, my secret pal. Are you talking to your snuggly again, Chip Pug? <laughs> Oh, Nico, now I don't have my picture. What am I going to give Tot for her birthday this weekend? Hmm. When my brother Bodie had his first birthday, I made him a special bamboo cake with bamboo frosting. That's it! I'll bake Tot a Pogalicious cake for her birthday. Thanks, Nico. Let's go, Potato! <laughs> Oh, there, little chip pug. Slow down. I'll get the things you'll need while you wash your puggy paws. Okay, Papa. Paw wash for you, too, Potato. <laughs> wish, wash, wish, wash. <laughs> chip, do you know what kind of cake you want to make for Tot? It's going to be really big with orange frosting, because orange is Tot's favorite color. Pugtastic! And what flavor is it gonna be? Pineapple! What? How? <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, Papa. The cake will be pumpkin flavor, of course. Our puggy favorite. And I'm gonna make it all by myself. <laughs> That's my chippy pug pup. <laughs> this video will show you how to make the cake. When you're ready to put the cake in the oven, holler. <laughs> You'll need a grown-up pug to do that. Thanks, Papa. Hello, my dears. Granny Fant. <laughs> Welcome to Granny Fant's Fantastic Baking Channel. <laughs> Are you ready to follow my delicious pumpkin cake recipe? <laughs> First, a Fant fact. Fast is fine, but baking takes time. So if you need to pause to catch up, just press here. Right, my dears, let's get started. Woohoo! <laughs> Put two cups of butter and two cups of sugar into a large bowl and mix together. <gasps> butter, sugar. Now add two eggs. <laughs> Quick, Potato, we should be adding eggs. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Clever potato. <laughs> now, you should have a fantastic gloopy mixture like this. Our mixture isn't gloopy potato. Now, add a pinch of baking powder and the flour. No, stop! We're not ready! Phew. <laughs> Thanks for pressing pause, potato. Can you rewind the video so we can watch it again? I'll keep mixing. Uh huh. <laughs> Do you think this mixture looks gloopy, Potato? Uh-huh! Yes! Ready! Press play, please, my secret pal. Now add a pinch of baking powder and the flour. <laughs> What's next? Time to add the pumpkin, and then one last big mix. <sighs> Making a cake is taking ages. <laughs> You're right, Potato. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> How's your cake coming along, Chaplet? Quick, hurry up. <gasps> I'll mix, Papa. 
Top job. Let's get that mixture into the pan and into the oven. Stand aside. Grown-up pug coming through. <laughs> My first ever cake for Tot's first ever birthday. Is it baked yet, Papa? <laughs> nope. The timer will go ping when the cake is ready to come out of the oven. I have to wait? Uh-huh. Well, there is something you could do in the meantime. What's that, Papa? Clean up the kitchen? Oops. I guess I was kind of rushing a bit. Oh, I better go check on Todd. I'll leave you to it, Chiplet. Cleaning is gonna take forever, Potato. Hello, my dears. Ready to clean up? Great idea, Potato. Cleaning up will be fun with music. <laughs> ready to come out of the oven. Papa! Fantastic cleaning, Chip. And... Oh, your cake smells pugalicious. Stand back, Chiplet. This is hot, hot, hot. Oh, magnificent. I did it. I made a cake for Tot all by myself. Now I can frost it. <laughs> Not quite yet, Chip. It has to cool down first. Huh? And, oh, oh, no! We haven't got any orange frosting. How about you go to Flingo's store to buy some while the cake cools? Yay! <laughs> Have you been baking, little Chip? How did you know, Mrs. Flingo? Well, you have a little flour on your nosy. <laughs> I'm baking my first cake for Tot's first birthday. I need to buy some orange frosting, please, so I can decorate the cake in Tot's favorite color. Come on in. Let's see what we can find. I think the frosting is out back. Look, Potato. Birthday candles. One of these would look puggy perfect on top of Tot's cake. Let's get a candle as well as the frosting. Uh-huh. A one for one-year-old Totsy Tot. Uh-huh. <laughs> I found the <gasps> frosting, Chip. It was in one of the boxes we're packing up. Packing up, Mrs. Flingo? Yes. Mr. Flingo and I are about to retire. We're selling the shop so we can spend more time doing our hobby, synchronized swimming. What's synchro? Skin crow? Synchronized swimming. It's like ballet in the water. Mr. Flingo and I do the same moves at the same time. Wow. You both look very good at it, Mrs. Flingo, but I'll miss you running the store. Thank you, Chip. Are you ready to pay now? Yes, please. My cake will be frosted in puggy no time, Papa. <laughs> Over to you, Superstar Baker. What'd you do? What'd you do? No! Little Mama's home! Mama, I baked a cake for Tot's birthday and now it's ruined. Oh, Chip Dip, let little Mama see. I think maybe if we're careful and take our time, Chiplet, we can fix your pugtastic cake. Really, Mama? Puggy promise. You see, frosting is very sticky. Oh, I can use the frosting to stick the cake back together. Uh-huh. Okay, go slowly now. Wow! I fixed it, Mama. I mended my cake. I'm so puggy proud of you, my Chippy Dip. Your little sister's gonna love her cake. <laughs> <laughs> no puggy peeking, Totsy. Chip's got a surprise for you to enjoy tomorrow on your birthday. And your big brother will think it's Pugalicious. Spud! He's back from sleepaway camp tomorrow. I can't wait. Thanks, Mama and Papa, for helping me with my cake. Oh, our puggy pleasure. 
Is our superstar baker ready for her photo for Granny Fan's baking channel? <laughs> Say pumpkin cake! <laughs> oh, wait, Papa. Don't rush. <laughs> the candle. Now I'm ready. Pumpkin cake! <laughs> Do you think Grandma will be here soon, Amanda? Yes. I'm sure she's just running a little late, Chip. Bodie, Nico, and I will stay with you till she gets here. Ooh. <laughs> Good idea, Potato. I can practice my magic trick while we wait. <laughs> I, the great Chip-a-Doodle, will perform the magic rope trick. <laughs> First, I wrap the magic rope around my fingers. And I pull one end through the middle, and um, now I will make the knot disappear. Abra pug Abra. <sighs> oh, oh, I'm sure you'll get it right next time, Chip. Won't she, Potato? <coughs> You're right. I just need to check the instructions again when I get home. <coughs> Grandma's here. I love it when she picks me up in the puggy buggy. I always get to sit up front. Hiding in my pocket, secret potato pal. Happy bye. Thanks for waiting with me. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Bye, Chip. Uh, oh, hello, chip a -doodle. Huh? Who's that sitting up front in my seat? Oh. Say hi to Glenda, Gordy's granddaughter. Hi. Hi, Chip. Gordy and I thought it would be lovely for you two pups to meet. And I love sitting up front in the Puggy Buggy. It's oh. Fabby Wacky Duda. There's no room for me, Grandma. How will I get home? You're about to find out, Chippa Doodle. Would you like a ride home with me on my Electro Puggy Scoot Chip? You can sit in the sidecar. Yes, please, Gordy. <laughs> I can't wait to tell Mama and Papa about this ride home. It's fun! Mama! Papa! Hi, Chippy Dip! <laughs> Guess what? Hi, Mama! Hello, hello! You must be Glenda. Puggy, nice to meet you. Puggy, nice to meet you, too. Did you see? I rode a friend in the Puggy Buggy. It was Fabby Waggy Duda. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, everyone. Oh, Potato, I really wanted to tell Mama and Papa about my amazing Electro Puggy Scoot ride, but Glenda got there first. Oh, are you all set to perform your special magic trick after dinner, Chippy Doo? Nearly. I just need to go up to my room to check the instructions. Hey, Chippy Dip, how about taking Glenda with you? I'm sure she'd love to see your room. Huh? That would be Fabby Waggy Duda. Thanks, Chip. Let me guess where your room is. Oh, it must be down there. I don't want Glenda to find out how I do my magic trick, Potato. It's supposed to be a secret, like you. Huh. Better hurry up. Is this your room, Chip? Uh-huh. I love it! What's that? Is it a snuggly? I have a llama snuggly. This is my potato. I keep her in my pocket. See? Aw, cute! Oh, my spots. You've got a box of magic tricks. Grandma and Gordy gave it to me for my fifth birthday. Gordy gave me the same box of tricks for my fifth birthday. I'm six now. <gasps> It's got the same magic tricks inside. I love this trick. I, Glenda the Magnificent, will make this coin disappear. <gasps> wow, Glenda. Can you do all the tricks? Oh, yes. Can you? Um, not yet. But I'm going to perform the magic rope trick for everyone after dinner. Oh, that's a hard one. It took me forever to get it right. I just need to check the instructions one last time. I wrap the magic rope around my fingers, then I pull one end through, and then... Oh, I make a loop. Got it. Now I, the great chip doodle will perform the magic rope trick. I wrap the magic rope around my fingers, then I pull one end through the middle, and... Abra-pug-dabra! 
Oh. I wanted to show everyone my magic rope trick after dinner, but I just can't get it right. I've had the most fabby waggy doodle idea! I'll perform a magic trick after dinner instead, so no one will be disappointed. But, but, Paul wash time! Pumpkin spaghetti is ready! Come on, Chip! Bring the cape and hat with you! I was so excited about showing everyone my magic rope trick, but now Glenn is going to do her trick instead. She does everything first. Aww. See ya! Welcome home, Spud! Hi, Mama! Puggy, perfect timing! Better wash those muddy soccer paws we're about to eat. Okay. And after dinner, you're performing your magic trick. Right, Chipolata? No, I'm not doing my trick after all. But Spud! Hi, oh. Grandma. Spud, meet Glenda, Gordy's granddaughter. Hi, Spud. Nice soccer shirt. I play soccer, too. You do? I'm a striker. What position do you play? Same! <laughs> Glenda told us you're not going to perform your magic trick after all, Chip. I'm not ready, Mama. I can't get it right. I'm sure you'll get the trick right soon, Chip. We didn't want you all to be disappointed, so I'm going to do a magic trick instead. Oh, that's kind of you, Glenda. Ah, <sighs> pumpkin spaghetti is served. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> <gasps> Phew. Now I, Glenda the Magnificent, will perform the magic cups trick. Oh, I'm so excited. Glenda's going to do the special trick that Gordy did at Grandma's birthday party. First, I need something small to disappear. You could use Chip's potato snuggly. Oh, yes. Chip's fabby waggy snuggly. That's okay, Chip. Remember, I used your snuggly when I performed this trick, and your potato was fine. <laughs> Thanks, Chip. I put the snuggly under the red cup, then I mix the cup. Now, guess which cup the Snuggly is under. The it's red, under the red cup. cup. Wrong! See? <gasps> no potato! Amazing! Oh, <laughs> Abra Pugdabra! Chip's Potato Snuggly is here! Oh! It must be under this one. <gasps> My trick has gone wrong! I don't know where Chip's Snuggly is. <laughs> Don't worry, pups. We'll find it. Sure. Uh, she, uh, she, oh, she's not for sure. Mm, uh, not here. What about this? There you are. I'm so glad you're safe, Potato. Better hoodie up before someone sees you as a mouse. <laughs> Look, everyone. Abra Pug Dabra. Here is Potato. Oh, <laughs> you found it. I did a great job disappearing the snuggly, and Chip, you did a great job reappearing it. How did you do it? Um... Oh, a good magician never reveals their secrets, Glenda. <laughs> that was amazing, Chip Squeak. Now you have to show us the trick you've been practicing. <laughs> okay. I, the great Chip-a-Doodle, will perform the magic rope trick. Oh, oh, my oh, 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 First, I wrap the magic rope around my fingers. Then I pull one end through the middle. And, um, oh no, I can't remember what to do next. Ooh, I can go. Oh, I make a loop. Thanks, Potato. Now I make a loop, and the knot will disappear. Abra Pug Jabra! Woohoo! Oh, right, I did it! Even if I needed a little help from you, my Potato Pal. That was pugtastic magic fun, Chip. Or should I say, the great Chip-a-Doodle? Oh. <laughs> oh, we loved it, Chip. Oh, uh, but I'm afraid we need to drop Glenda home now. Are you going to sit up front in the Puggy Buggy with me, Glenda? Actually, I'd like to ride with Grandpa in the Electro Puggy Scoot. Really? You never wanted to before. I was scared, but I saw how much fun Chip had riding in the sidecar, and now I want to try it too. <laughs> Maybe Glenda hasn't done everything first after all. <laughs> Bye. 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 Thanks for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Howdy. Hi, Roy. Hi, Ray. Us Razzles are having a teddy bear's picnic the day after tomorrow, under the apple tree. It's a chance for the littlest members of Welcome Walk to get together and play. We'd love for Tot to come. 
In fact, all of you. Ah, that sounds pugtastic! <laughs> A teddy bear's picnic? I can't wait! <laughs> <sighs> Morning, Potato. Potato? <laughs> she must have gone to say good morning to Todd again. <laughs> Potato, are you asleep? <laughs> Wake up, sleepyhead. No, I know. Good morning, Potato Pal. Oh. Did you sleep here with Tot all night? Uh-huh. Hey, Totsy Tot. Uh -huh. Oh, no. What's up, little sister? Uh -huh. Oh, it's your gums. Mama said they would be hurt you while your new puggy teeth grow through. Uh -huh. Poor Tot. So oh, that's why you stayed here all night, Potato, to look after her. Uh -huh. Kind Potato. Uh -huh. Is that you, Chip Dip? Better hoodie up, Secret Mouse friend. Are you checking on your little sister? Yes, Mama. Well done, Chip. I'm so proud of you for letting Tot sleep with your snuggly potato again. Uh, again? Your potato seems to comfort our teething Tot much more than her Toffee Mouse. Oh, diaper change, Totsy Tot. <laughs> there you go, little sister. <gasps> Would you like to keep Potato with you all day today, Tot? My snuggly always makes me feel better when I don't feel so good. That's so kind, Chip. I'm sure Tot would love that, but are you sure you'll be okay without your potato for the whole day at school? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll be just fine, Mama. See you later, Bye. Mama. Bye, Spud. Bye, Chip Dip. Bye. Uh... <laughs> wow, Chip. This must be the first time you've ever been to school without Potato. It is, Nico. But poor Tot's teething, and she needs Potato more than me. Good morning, Happy Hoppers. Good morning, Mr. Badger Fox. Uh, Chip Pug, Principal Wooly would like you to go to her office before class this morning, please. Um, okay. I'll let Mr. Diggerty know you'll be a little late for your first lesson. Nico, I've never been called to Principal Wooly's office before. I wonder why she wants to see me. I'm sure it'll be okay, Chip. I should get to class. Good luck, Pug Pal. But... How do I get to Mrs. Wooly's office? If Potato was here, she'd know what to do. Oh! Huh. Oh! <laughs> um, Mr. Badger Fox, I've never been to Mrs. Wooly's office before. Please, can you tell me how to get there? Oh, it's very simple, little Chip. Go all the way to the gym, around the corner, past the music room, turn left, and you'll be right outside Mrs. Wooly's office. Thank you. Um, Chip, it's that way. <laughs> Oops. Jim, around the corner, past the music room, turn left. Whoa! <laughs> <gasps> ah, the gym! Around the corner. This is just like the time I had to find my way to the school office with the attendance book. <gasps> past the music room. Where do I go now? Oh, I wish my Potato Mousie was here. She'd remember the way. Potato? <laughs> Wait, I know that sound. Turn left! Mrs. Wooly, I found you! And your office. You certainly did, Chip Pug. And perfect timing. I have something important to talk to you about. Come in. I wanted to ask you about this. That's my story. I wrote it in Mr. Diggerty's creative writing lesson. Yes, Chip. It's so good that Mr. Diggerty showed it to me. I'd like you to read it out, loud and proud, to me, your principal. Oh, I've never read it out loud before, Mrs. Wooly. 
Well, now is your chance. Oh, careful, Chip. Sorry. This is Wooly. My story. Oh, Chip. Oh. Now I can't read you my story, Mrs. Wooly. Could you try and remember your story and tell me about it instead? Hmm. Once upon a time, there was a pug who wanted to play in a music band. But she... Uh... Um... What did I write next? It's okay, Chip. I'm sure it will come to you. If Potato was here, she'd help me remember. But she's home with Tot. Oh! Tot and Potato. That's it! Um, Mrs. Wooly, I can't remember the story I wrote, but I do have another story I'd like to tell you. Well, I'd love to hear it, Chip. Go ahead. <sighs> Once upon a time, there was a teensy tiny pug called Tot. She wasn't very happy because her new little teeth were pushing through her gums. <laughs> it hurt a lot. The only thing that cheered Tot up was cuddling her big sister Chip Snuggly Potato. <laughs> but what nobody else knew was that Potato wasn't just a Snuggly. <laughs> potato could change into a real-life mouse who loved to play! <laughs> <laughs> Potato Mouse spent the whole day caring for Tot, cheering her up and eating her food. <laughs> Till Tot felt better again. The end. Well done, Chip. What an excellent story. You have a wonderful imagination, pretending you're Snuggly as a real mouse. Is Potato the Snuggly you always bring to school with you? Yes. But I didn't bring her, I mean, it, with me today. I left Potato with my sister, Tot. She's teething, just like in the story. And have you missed her? I mean, it. You're snuggly. I did feel a little worried when I couldn't find your office, Mrs. Wooly. I wished I had Potato then, and when I couldn't remember the story I'd written. Well, I think you should be very proud of yourself. That's why I'm awarding you this. A certificate? Wow! Thank you, Mrs. Wooly. I can't wait to show it to my potato after school. <laughs> now off to your happy hopper class, Chip. Mr. Diggerty will be expecting you. Thank you, Mrs. Wooly. Are you excited to have a snuggle with potato, Chip? I can't wait, Nico. I found it hard to go the whole day at school without her, but I did it! Happy bye, Chip! Happy bye, Nico! Mama! Mama! Mrs. Wooly gave me a certificate for my creative stories! Well done, my clever little puglet! <laughs> Where's Tot and my potato? Tot went to play next door with Ron and Ruby because potato made her feel so much better, Chip. Then the Razzles took all the wriggly gigglers to the park. So I need to go to the park too, Mama. Can we go? We can. Spud, hurry! We need to go to the park now! I hope Tot looked after Potato today, and that Potato looked after Tot. <laughs> Snuggly toys can't look after pugs, Chipolata. <laughs> Hi, Razzles! <laughs> Howdy! Tot! Potato! How are your gums, little Tot? Uh... <gasps> Tot, you've got your first puggy tooth! <laughs> she certainly has! Nice one, little assist. Time to celebrate! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can snuggle Potato for longer if you need to, Totsy Tot. <laughs> oh, now that your tooth has pushed through, your gums aren't so hurdy? Thank you, Tot. Thank you. <gasps> what was that, Tot? Say it again for me, Totsy Tot. Thank you. <laughs> wow, Tot! You got your first tooth and you said your first words. You said thank you and you said it to me. Oh, 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 oh Look, Potato, oh, yes. I got a certificate today from Mrs. Wooly. <laughs> oh, you want to go on the swings to celebrate? Didn't the baby swings go high enough for you, Potato Pal? Nuh -uh. Come on, then. <laughs> Wee! I'm glad you cheered up Tot today, Potato. But I missed you. 
I'm not ready to leave you at home all the time. Oh. And I don't want you to miss out, especially not tomorrow. Pop is coming to school to talk to the class. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, no, no! Huh? <gasps> Potato, it's my creative writing story. It flew out of Mrs. Wooly's window all the way across Happyton and back to me. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Are you ready? What do you think of my jumpsuit potato? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too! It's the puggy perfect outfit for my job as Grandma's bride spot. Uh -huh. It's Grandma and Gordy's wedding day. <gasps> I almost forgot! I've got something for you to wear too, bride's potato. Uh -huh. Look! <laughs> now we match! <laughs> Let's go and show Mom and Grandma! Hoodie up, secret mouse friend. <laughs> oh. There's no pocket to put you in. Where am I going to hide you while I'm being brides up at the wedding, Potato? Huh? Jiffy Jiff, are you ready to show us your outfit? Hmm. We'll think of something, Potato. Come on! <laughs> Did I make you jump? You did, Chip. I know you're excited about today, but you really must slow down a bit, okay? <laughs> oh, dear. Look what you made me do. Sorry, Grandma. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Chip. I love it. Can you do the other eye to look the same? <laughs> well, okay. Ah, let me have a look at my Chip-a-doodle bride's pup. You and your snuggly look fabulous. <laughs> Potato and I think you look gorgeous too, little Totster. Hello! <gasps> Come on in, Glenda. <laughs> Glenda! There's no need to rush, Chip. Hold on tight, Potato. <laughs> Glenda! I love your bride's pup dress. Puggy Huggy. <gasps> <laughs> Oh. Now it's soaking wet. And Grandma's flowers are ruined. She can't carry those down the aisle. Oh, <laughs> Chip. I'm so sorry, Glenda. <laughs> Come on, Glenda. It'll take no puggy time to get your dress dried off. And I'll fix these flowers. Thanks, Papa. Thanks, Mama. I'm going to try really hard to slow down from now on. Puggy promise. And maybe just take a moment to stop and think, eh, Chip? I will, Papa. Bud! Your rainbow suit is amazing! Thanks, Chipolata. I love your outfit, too. Snazzy. We Brides Pops are gonna look so great when we walk down the aisle carrying these special bowls. One for Grandma and one for Gordy. And we walk like this, remember? Just like we did in the rehearsal. <laughs> Clever potato, that's where you can hide. I'll carry you up the aisle in Grandma's bowl. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all the musical instruments ready for us to take to the wedding for our shh, top secret surprise song. Oh yes, our song. We're here to say hooray on this oh, special no, no, no. day. Shh. <laughs> The song is a surprise for Grandma. <gasps> Do you think Grandma heard me? Mm -hmm. I should have stopped to think. <gasps> Glenda's dress is puggy perfectly dry again. Phew, it's Fappy Wacky Duda. Thanks, Lil Mama. Wow, the cushion with Grandma and Gordy's rings for me to carry down the aisle. Chip. Mm -hmm. Sorry, everyone. Slow down, Chip. Stop and think. That's the way, Chippy Pug Pup. <gasps> it's Gordy the Groom on his electro puggy scoot. He's here to pick me up. And me. Tootie toot, let's puggy scoot. How come Spud and Glenda get to go to the wedding first, Papa? Because there's not enough room in the Puggy Patrol Mobile for me to drive everyone. Papa, Chip, 
I meant to say, don't forget to bring the musical instruments with you. We, we won't, won't forget. forget. Oh, and I can't forget Gordy's doggy bowl. Remember to bring Grandma's too, Chip Squeak. I will. See you at the wedding. See you there. Is it okay for the bride to come down now? Why wouldn't it be okay, Papa? Because, Chip, it's tradition that on their big day, the groom and bride don't see each other before the wedding. Ah. It's okay, Grandma. Gordy's gone. How do we look? <gasps> Beautiful. Huggy-tastic. Yikes! It's time to go, go, go! Let's vroom, vroom! It's a puggy, huggy, big day! It's Grandma Gordy's wedding, hip, hip, hooray! Huggy, huggy, big day! It's Grandma Gordy's big wedding today! I've got you with me today, Potato. Potato? Oh, no! <gasps> oh. Hey, Chip. Great bride's pup outfit. Oh, Nico. I left Potato at home. I was rushing. I didn't stop and think. And I forgot her. You could borrow my boo bam. Thanks, Nico. But I need Potato. She's part of my puggy family. She should be here. Come and sit down now, Nico. The wedding will start soon. I'm sure it'll work out okay, Chip. <gasps> we left the musical instruments at home, too. We need to go and get them. Please keep this safe for me, Nico. Papa, Papa, Papa! We forgot the musical instruments. Oh, I was in such a rush. Me, too. I left my potato behind. Right. If we go home now, I think we can get the instruments and potato and make it back in time for the start of the wedding. <laughs> Let's go, go, go! I'm coming to get you, Potato, so we can walk down the aisle together. <gasps> potato, potato! Right, Chip. <laughs> Let's make sure we remember everything this time. I'll get the guitar and my potato, Papa. And I'll get the rest. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Potato! Whoa! Mm. Sorry, Potato. If I just stopped to think, I would have realized you weren't with me. <sighs> this time, I've got everything I need. Hoodie up, Bride's Potato! <laughs> Bride's Pup Chip! Ready for duty. Phew, buggy perfect timing. We're about to walk down the aisle. <laughs> What's all that for? Oh, uh, it's a surprise. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. It's time for our surprise. What's going on? We're here to say hooray on this special day. One big family together. We all love each other forever. So let's all celebrate. One big family together, we all love 
each other forever. It's Daddy Poggy Doodle. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Potato Pal, I'm so glad I had you with me on Gordy and Grandma's big puggy wedding day. We will love each other forever and ever, too. Hugs and kisses to the newlyweds. That's you, Grandma and Gordy. I mean, Grandma and Grandpa. Aww. And hugs and kisses to you, too. <laughs> Have an elephantastic day, little learners. <laughs> Bye, Granny. Bye. Bye. Are you looking forward to a new semester at Rainbow Forest School, Potato? <gasps> Potato? Oh! Phew! Uh -oh. You're with Nico. I needed a little snuggly cuddle before class. It's going to be different without Mr. Diggerty as our teacher. I wonder what our substitute teacher will be like. Uh -huh. Well, as long as we're all together, I'm sure we'll have fun. <laughs> Now hoodie up, Potato Pal. It's time for class. <laughs> what was that noise? <laughs> Mrs. Mrs. Whale. She must be teaching you instead of Mr. Diggerty. Mrs. Whale sounds very different to Mr. Diggerty, Spud. Just don't make her laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Why not, Paco? <laughs> Hello, Happy Hoppers. I'm Mrs. Whale. I will be your substitute teacher while Mr. Diggerty recovers from his eye operation. Now, please hang up your backpacks and then call out your name. I'll check your name off the register. This, is be weird. this isn't how Mr. Diggerty takes attendance. He calls out our names. Giggle is Graham. <laughs> Here, Mrs. Whale. Splendid. Howie Hyena. Here, Mrs. Whale. Goodness. Chip, stomp, fat. Here, Mrs. Whale. <laughs> oh, Potato. I don't like the different way Mrs. Whale is doing things. That's on my I need you in my pocket today. Uh -huh. And finally, who are you, little pug? Oh, I'm Chip. Sorry, Mrs. Whale. Thank you, Chip. And a warm welcome to you all. Now, everyone. Please put on an apron and take a seat at one of the desks. Desks? But we normally all sit together. What happened to our long wiggly desk, Mrs. Whale? I'm much bigger than Mr. Diggerty Chip, so I've split the long desk into smaller desks to help me and my flippy flappy tail move around the home room. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I always spray water when I laugh. <laughs> So that's what Paco meant. Now, quickly, little Chip. Find somewhere to sit, please. Chip! Chip! Oh, I'm coming! Wait, wait, wait up. Let me sit with you. <gasps> At least you're with me, Potato. <laughs> Hi, Chip! Hi, Henrietta. Hi, Howie. Hi, Chip Pug. <laughs> this morning, Happy Hoppers, I'll be testing your memory. Can you all remember what Mr. Diggerty looks like? I can! I can! I can. I can. I can. Good, because I'd like you to make a picture of him. Mrs. Whale, when we finish our pictures, can we give them to Mr. Diggerty to make him feel better after his eye operation? What a good idea, Chip. I'm sure Mr. Diggerty will love that. You can use anything from the basket on your desk to make your picture. It's up to you. Let's go, let's go. I'm going to make my picture of Mr. Diggerty with colored paper. What do you think, Potato? Should I paint my Mr. Diggerty picture? <laughs> hmm. Mr. Diggerty's body looks like this. <laughs> you want to paint too, Potato? <laughs> okay, but be quick, Secret Snuggly Pal. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> ah, a tail painting a tail. Now hoodie up, Potato, before someone sees you. Chip Snuggly, <gasps> this will make a perfect painting sponge. 
Splodge, Splodge, Give me my splodge. potato, Howie! <laughs> 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 Is this your snuggly toy, Chip? Yes, it's my potato, Mrs. Whale. It would be such a shame if it got covered in paint, wouldn't it? I'll put your snuggly somewhere safe for you, Chip. You can have it back at recess, Pug Pup. <coughs> Sorry, Chip. I didn't mean for your snuggly to be taken away. Back to your painting, please, Chip. <sighs> I can do this, even without Nico and my potato pal. Now. What do Mr. Diggerty's eyes look like? Hmm. Oh, I remember. Uh, ooh. And his eyebrows are big and bushy like this. <laughs> hmm. What about Mr. Diggerty's nose? I can't remember what it looks like. Does Mr. Diggerty have a long nose like Stomp? That would be silly. <laughs> How can I finish my picture if I can't remember what Mr. Diggerty's nose looks like? Oh, hmm. Potato would remember. <gasps> potato? Where's my potato? <laughs> potato, you should be up on the shelf where Mrs. Whale put you. <laughs> you came to help me finish my painting? Uh-huh. Thanks, Potato. I can't remember what Mr. Diggerty's nose looks like. Can you? <laughs> yes, that's it. Oh, wonderful pictures. Keep it up. Quick, Mrs. Whale's coming. Get back to the shelf and hoodie up. <laughs> Time's up, Hoppers. Let's gather on the carpet to see those diggerties. <laughs> Do you like my picture? It's great, Nico. Do you like mine? Potato painted the tail and helped me remember what Mr. Diggerty's nose looks like. <laughs> <laughs> I missed sitting next to you, Nico, but I still had fun. Hold up your pictures, please, Hoppers. Wow. Look at mine! Whoa. Whoa. Oh, yeah. so, good. so many Mr. Diggerty's. What flipperty fabulous work. Mrs. Whale? Can we please call Mr. Diggerty and show him our pictures right now? Excellent idea, young Chip. Let's go, let's go! Let's get blue. Hello? Oh, uh, is that my happy hoppers? Hi, Hi Mr. Diggerty! We hope you're feeling better. I am! How diggledy delightful to see your faces! Look what we've been making with Mrs. Whale, Mr. Diggerty. <laughs> what a creative class you are! <laughs> I've never seen so many me's. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. And Chip, you painted my nose perfectly. <laughs> Happy Hoppers, class will be a little different with Mrs. Whale as your teacher, but different can be fun. I know you'll do your best for Mrs. Whale. We will, Mr. Diggerty. Diggerty. Now. When there's someone new in class, we like to welcome them in a special way. Isn't that right, Happy Hoppers? Yeah! <laughs> Welcoming me, Hoppers. And thank you, Mr. Diggerty. Get well soon. Get, Get well, well soon, soon, Mr. Mr. Diggerty. Diggerty. Bye for now. Now, Happy Hoppers, it's time for our next lesson, Yo Yoga. Yo Yoga? What's that? Yo Yoga is a special way of moving your body to help you relax and concentrate. Just copy me. This pose is called Upward Facing Whale. <laughs> this is really different, Nico, and I love it! Um, Mrs. Whale? Oh. It's time for food! Ooh, you're right, Barry! Recess, everyone! <laughs> oh, my potato! Please, may I have my snuggly potato back, Mrs. Whale? Of course, little Chip. I was worried about things being different with a new teacher, but I enjoyed doing things a new way, and I loved the yo-yoga. 
That makes me very happy, Chip. Oh, that's strange. Where's it gone? A snuggly toy can't move by itself. <laughs> Potato! <gasps> Something's tickling me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsie, sorry. <laughs> that's okay, Mrs. Whale. <laughs> oh, you found your potato. You know, you've gone all morning without your comforter, Chip. Maybe soon you won't need to bring it to school at all. Um, maybe. See you after recess, Mrs. Whale. I could never leave you at home, my snuggly pal. Not yet, anyway. Ah. Huh? Come on, I want to show Nico the magic trick I'm performing for Grandma and Gordy tonight. Abra Pug Dabra. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> it's home time, Happy Hoppers. Well done for today. You can collect your things from the cloak. Excuse me, stop. Excuse me, Giglish. I need to get my backpack. Why are you rushing, kids? <gasps> don't you remember, Nico? The Razzles are having their teddy bears picnic today. I don't want to be late. Oh, yeah, for all the little ones on Welcome Walk. And their teddies. And us. You can be our teddy at the picnic potato. Uh, mm. Oh, my backpack stuck. Here, let me help. Now untwist the strap ship. Oh, thanks, Nico. Four paws are better than two. <clears throat> okay, potato. Six paws. <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Whale's coming. Better hoodie up, my secret potato pal. Oh, and happy hoppers. Don't forget to bring in your creative craft homework tomorrow. Um, what do we have to do again, Mrs. Whale? You need to make a musical instrument, Howie, from something that's not being used anymore. For example, you could make a drum from an old yogurt container and an ice pop stick. Oopsie, <laughs> 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 sorry. I'm making a pan flute out of old bamboo, Mrs. Whale. Perfect, Nico. I haven't started making my musical instrument yet. I'm sure you'll think of something splendid, Chip. And tomorrow, Happy Hoppers, we'll make wonderful music with the instruments you've made. <laughs> Until next time, Happy Hoppers. <laughs> I guess we'll have to finish our homework before we go to the teddy bear's picnic, Chip. Yes, Nico. We could play the musical instruments we make to entertain the little ones at the picnic. Great idea. Where we gonna go? All the way home! Thanks, Bye. Bye. Well, hello, Panda and Pugs. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hey, Mama. Welcome to our teddy bear's picnic. Are you ready to party? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Mr. Razzle. You can call me Ray. Yes, yes Mr. Ray. Ray. <gasps> <laughs> Mama, please, can I go to Paco's house? I need to borrow a sleeping bag for school sleepaway camp. Sleepaway camp? What's that? Sounds pretty exciting. It is. <laughs> I'm going on a school camping trip for a whole week. Our little spuddy pug is growing up so fast. Mom, <laughs> we'll see you when you get back from Paco's. Thanks. Have fun, everyone. Bye. Bye. Sit down and join us, Chip and Nico. We will, Mr. Ray. But Chip and I have homework to do first. We have to make a musical instrument out of something we don't need anymore. Then we'll play our instruments for the little ones at the picnic. What a puggy good idea. <laughs> oh, hey, where are you off to, Totsy Tot? Oh, you're such a wriggler. <laughs> <laughs> and Bodie's such a giggler. <laughs> we should call the little ones the Wriggly Gigglers. <laughs> the Wriggly Gigglers. It's a puggy perfect name. Now off you go to make your musical instruments. Oh, can you manage without me while I look after Tot? Yes, Mama. I can make my musical instrument all by myself. Well, help yourself to anything from the recycling box. Thanks, Mama. Meet you back here when we're finished, Nico. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Let's go, Potato Pal. Oh, do you want to stay and play with the Wriggly Gigglers at the picnic? Okay, but don't let the grown-ups see you, my secret mouse friend. Time to make my musical instrument to play for the Wriggly Gigglers. 
recycling box. This pumpkin chip tube will make a good musical sound if... I put these beads inside and shake it. Oh, my little puggy paw is too small to cover the end of the tube. I need something bigger to stop the beads falling out. I'll use this piece of paper. Hmm. I need something to fix the paper to the tube. Ha! A hair elastic! Hmm. Uh, <gasps> I don't have enough puggy paws to hold the paper and the hair elastic at the same time. <laughs> Mm, potato would know what to do. Oh, let me help you there, partner. Thank you, Roy. Ah, help. Thank you, Razzles. You've just given me an idea. Look, Mama. I'm making a shaker for my creative craft homework, but I need Nico's help to finish it. Can I go to his house, please? If it's okay with Amanda, it's fine with me, Chip Dip. Sounds like an excellent plan. Thanks. <laughs> 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 Are you getting tired, Potato? Uh-uh. Don't worry. I'll be back soon to help entertain the Wriggly Gigglers with my shaker. Uh -huh. Happy hi, Nico! <laughs> Happy hi, Chip! I'm trying to make a shaker with this tube, but I need more paws. I need help making my pan flute! Listen, the different lengths of bamboo make different musical notes. Mm-hmm. Wow, your pan flute sounds great, Nico. Thanks, Chip. I just can't keep all the bamboo pieces together. They keep rolling away. I tried to glue them together, but they wouldn't stick. Tying them will be tricky with just two paws. I can help, Nico. You hold the pipes, and I'll tie them together with this yarn. There. That's great. Thanks, Chip. Now I'll help you finish making your shaker. You hold the paper over the end of the tube, and I'll fix it on with your hair elastic. Thanks, Nico. You're the best. <laughs> now we can play our musical instruments and entertain the Wriggly Gigglers. <laughs> oh dear, Chip. The Wriggly Gigglers aren't giggling anymore. And where's Potato? I can't see her, Nico. Hi, Puggy Panda Pals. Have you finished your homework? Yes, Mama. <laughs> oh, your instruments sound great. Well done, you two. We helped each other to finish them. And now we want to play for the Wrigley Gigglers. But, Mama, I can't find my potato. Have you seen her? Sorry, Chippy Dip, I haven't. <sighs> Look at that cup, Nico. That doesn't look like Rudy Fruity Pop to me. Oh, my sleepy, snoozy potato. All that peekaboo has tired you out. <laughs> um, do you think you can entertain the Wriggly Gigglers with your musical instruments now? It might stop there. Crying. The teddy bears picnic players are ready to perform. <laughs> you play first, Chip. Gigglers didn't like my shaker sound. You try, Nico. <laughs> I know. We work together to finish our musical instruments. We should play them together. <laughs> I think the regular gigglers like our music, Nico. <laughs> Wiggly Gigglers don't like our music, Chip. Oh, Chip and Nico, your playing was wonderful. <laughs> Mrs. Whale will love it. <laughs> the Wiggly Gigglers are just tired after all the picnic fun. <laughs> That's a big idea for a little mouse potato. Huh? Potato thinks the Wiggly Gigglers don't want to hear loud music, Nico. We need to play gentle, sleepy music instead. We could try, I guess. <laughs> oh. 
Thanks, Potato. Well done, you two. Yes, you did a dazzlingly... Shh. Good job. I thought our music would make the regularly gigglers giggle, but we sent them to sleep instead. And Potato, too. <sighs> Mama, Paco's left me a sleeping bag. I'm all set for school sleepaway camp. Me too, Chippy Pug Pup. Every year, Mr. Diggerty invites us to talk to his class about the Happyton Police Service. Although I think everyone likes seeing my patrol mobile most of all. <laughs> That's because <laughs> it's shiny and blue. Shiny, shiny blue. It's got a red light. Secret friend, we're here. Rainbow Forest School. Now, what do you have, Petito, before anyone sees your mouse? <laughs> what is it, Snuggly Pal? My turn, Peter! <laughs> Are you worried how he might try to take you from me? Because he took Nico snugly the other day? Uh-huh. Don't worry, Potato. If Howie tries to take you, I'll get you back. And you can stay secret and snuggled in my pocket all day, just to be on the safe side. Out you come, <gasps> Chip. Let's go. <laughs> I've been looking forward to today for so long, Mr. Diggerty. Me too, Nico Panda. Morning, Detective Rookie. Good morning, Officer Papa. Ooh, what's that, Papa? Detective Rookie's installing a security camera chip ready for our talk. We're gonna show you how it can watch and record everything that goes on here. All sorts of puggy problems can be solved with the help of a security camera chiplet. <laughs> Are you going to drive your patrol mobile around the gym, Officer Papa? <laughs> um, I don't think so. Aww. Oh, but you've just given me a diggledy good idea, Howie. Let's all drive our own police patrol mobiles to the gym. Wee -oo, wee -oo, wee -oo. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Minim. <gasps> Howie. Thank you, Happy Hoppers! I am delighted to welcome Sergeant Cooler, Detective Rookie, and Officer Papa from the Happy Den Police Service! <laughs> Hello, Happy Hoppers! Let me begin our talk by showing you some equipment we use as part of our job in the police service. Police tool number one. A megaphone! <laughs> Useful for making our voices sound louder so we can be heard over noisy traffic. Beep, beep! All cars this way, Puggy Pleasy. Beep, beep! beep. <laughs> Police tool number two. A key that can unlock any door. Good for getting into a locked building if somebody needs help. Can I use the special key to unlock the candy store door? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> you could, but then I'd have to arrest you for taking candy which doesn't belong to you. Aww. <laughs> Are you enjoying the talk, Potato? Potato? Nico, do you know where Potato is? Mm -hmm. Chip, is there something wrong? Sorry, Mr. Diggerty, but my Potato Snuggly is missing. You're in luck, Pug Pup. Today, we are showing policing skills that can help you find lost things, just like your Snuggly. Thank you, Sergeant Cooler. I have to get my potato back. We'll find it, Chip. And finally, police tool number three, a paw print kit. And I'm going to demonstrate how the Happyton police use it to take paw prints. This can help find out who and where someone has been. Can I have three volunteers, please? <laughs> Stamp, Humphrey, and uh, Howie. Yes! <laughs> Nico, I think Howie's taken Potato. He took your snuggly boo bam, remember? First, could you place your hoof or paw firmly onto the sheet, please? <laughs> Now please remove them. Next, I take this special powder and dust it onto the sheet with this brush. Whoa! 
Who can see Stamp's print? <laughs> Garvey! It's the big round one at the end. Well done. And where is Howie's? Chip? It's the one in the middle, Detective Rookie. That's right, Chip. Which means this print has to be Humphrey's. Wow. <laughs> now it's time for you to dust for paw prints around the gym. No. Oh. Okay, Happy Hoppers, please line up on stage for your paw print kit. <laughs> if Howie did take Potato, his paw prints might lead me to where he's hidden her. Aha! A print! Wow, already? Hmm, that's Humphrey's print. I can't find any more prints here, Nico. I'm going to try over by the wall bars. Okay. <gasps> Nico! This looks like Howie's print! My first clue! Aha! And there's another one. And another! A Howie paw print trail! Chip, <gasps> could you please come down from the wall bars? Sorry, Mr. Diggerty. Hmm? Potato? What's this? Hug bat! Um, is it yours, Howie? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Chip. I lost Hug bat on the first day of school. I thought I'd lost him forever. likes Snugglies after all. Well, he likes that Snuggly. So why is he so mean about Potato? Because you had a Snuggly and he didn't? Hmm. Howie, I think I know why you were mean about my Snuggly. You missed your Snuggly, right? I guess I thought if I couldn't have my Snuggly, then why should you have yours? But you still shouldn't have taken her, I mean, it. Please show me where you hid Potato. I didn't hide Potato. Honest, Chip. But I could help you try and find it. After all, you found my hug bat. Thanks, Howie. Hey, Chip. How's the hunt for your Snuggly going? Oh, Papa. I still haven't found Potato. Are there any other police ways to find a lost Snuggly? Hmm. One of the best ways to find something you've lost is to try and remember where you've been and when you last saw the thing you've lost. Try and remember. Hmm. I had Potato in your Puggy Police Patrol Mobile. I know I had Potato when I was first in the school hallway, <gasps> but I can't remember having Potato in the gym. So the last time I had Potato was in the hallway. You bumped into me in the hallway, Chip. Maybe you lost your Potato then. Uh, Mr. Diggerty, can I take these young detectives to the scene of the snuggly disappearance to look for clues? Please diggledy do, Officer Papa. Oh, no Potato and no clues. Papa, do you think the camera filmed us pretending to be police cars in the hallway? Yes, Chip. We were just about to show you all what the camera recorded. Let's go back to the gym and take a look. If Chip's potato went missing in the hallway, it will have been recorded by the security camera this morning. There, there. Papa, Nico thinks he saw something. Okay, let's rewind and watch again. This time, in slow motion. <gasps> Potato got shut inside the piano practice room. It looks like our security camera did its job. Thanks for spotting it, Nico. <gasps> oh, no. It's locked. Officer Papa, can we use your special unlock any door key? <laughs> Good thinking, oh. Howie. Potato? I said I'd get you back. And guess what, Potato? Howie helped me find you. Huh? <laughs> Better hoodie up now. 
We don't want anyone to see you as a mouse. <laughs> I missed you, Potato. I missed Hugbat, too. Thank you for helping find my Snuggly, Howie. And that's Case Closed. <laughs> I'm sorry I said you took Potato when you didn't. We, I mean, I was wrong about you, Howie. It's okay. Wow. Hey, have a hug, Bat Hug. Woo! I'm glad we got you back, Potato. It's Grandma and Gordy's wedding rehearsal tomorrow, and you wouldn't want to miss it. Uh-uh. Oh, <laughs> Not the siren, <laughs> Howie! <laughs> Howie! Have a good day! I can't wait to show Boo Bam to our Happy Hopper classmates, Chip. Oh. They'll love him, Nico. Maybe not quite as much as Potato. Oh, <laughs> Better hoodie up now, secret mousy friend, or he'll be seen. <laughs> Hi, Chip. Hi. Nico, is that a new Snuggly? Yes, Barry. My daddy gave him to me. He's called Boo Bam. Please, can I give Boo Bam a welcome to school bear hug? Yes. He'd like that. <laughs> Boo Bam doesn't want a bear hug. He needs a Howie hug. Oh, it's a beanie snuggly. I shake, you shake, you shake. Whoops, Boo Bam. Oh, Nico, Boo Bam's lost one of his sparkles. It was an accident. We need to get to class. Sorry about Boo Bam's sparkle, Nico. Oh, Chip. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Boo Bam into school today. What if Howie takes him again and he loses another sparkle? Don't worry, Nico. Potato can stay in my pocket today, and together we'll help look after Boo Bam. Puggy Potato Panda Protectors. <laughs> Thank you. Happy Hoppers! My clothes are a big clue for the first lesson of the day. Who can tell me what it is? Gigglish? P.E., Mr. Diggerty. Yes, in diggledy deed. And today, your P.E. lesson will be outside. But first, a warm-up game inside. When I say go, take a beanbag and throw it into the hoop. Try to collect all the beanbags in the net before the music stops. Ready? Yeah! Yes, Mr. Diggerty. Go! <laughs> no pushing. Oh, yes! Yeah. Happy Hoppers! All the bean bags are in the net. Yay! Yeah! But Mr. Diggerty, I didn't get a bean bag in the net. Oh, not to worry, Howie. I'm sure you'll do it next time we play. Happy Hoppers, please get your PE clothes from the cloakroom. It's time to get changed. <laughs> Potato wants to know: Is Boo Bam enjoying school so far, Nico? It's panda tastic. Thank you. <laughs> Chip, Nico. I see that you both have lovely snugglies with you today. I don't think I've met this little one before, have I? He's new, Mr. Diggerty. He's called Boo Bam. Boo! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Diggerty, delighted to meet you, Boo Bam. But snugglies shouldn't really be out during lessons, so please put them away now and get your gym clothes. Yes, Mr. Diggerty. And off to the changing rooms, everyone. Chip. I don't think I want to leave Boo Bam behind while we go to the changing rooms. <laughs> Potato will stay here with Boo Bam. He'll be fine, Nico. <laughs> Thank you, Potato. Love you. Hoodie up, Potato. Quickly now, Pug and Panda. Coming, Mr. Diggerty. Mr. Diggerty. Uh, Mr. Diggerty, I think I left one of my sneakers in the cloakroom. Hurry and get it, please, Howie. <gasps> <laughs> huh? Got it! Ah, Ooh, the beanie bean bag! Ah. <laughs> I got one in! And the crowd goes wild! Yeah! Huh? Oh! <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Please get your water bottles from the homeroom before we go outside, class. Look, Nico, I got a beanie bag in the net after all. I got your snuggly in. See? What do you mean, Howie? Uh, my boo bams here, Howie. Huh? But how did it? He wasn't. What happened while we were gone, Potato? <laughs> <gasps> How he did throw Boo Bam in the net? Uh-huh. And then you rescued him? Uh-huh. Super Potato! Now hoodie up. <coughs> Nico, we can't leave Boo Bam in the homeroom while we do P.E. outside. It's not safe. Boo Bam and Potato are coming with us. But Chip, Mr. Diggerty said to put our snugglies away. I know. I'll put Potato away here. And I'll put Boo Bam away here. <laughs> Puggy Panda Potato, perfect. Let's go. Huh? Oh, there you are. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> For P.E. today, Hoppers, we are going to play a game called Stuck in the Mud. Oh, I can't wait. One of you will be the chaser. If you're tagged by the chaser, pretend that your feet are stuck in the mud and stretch out your arms like this. <laughs> you have to stay stuck in the mud until someone else unsticks you by running under one of your arms. Then you can move. Uh, could you unstick me, please, Chip? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Now, Garvey Griller, you are the chaser. <laughs> I've been tagged. Please, can you unstick me? Oops. Sorry, Chip. That's okay. Thank you, Gigglish. <laughs> I'm unstuck. I'm... Tag again, Chip. Stuck. Nico, can you unstick me, please? <gasps> Boo Bam. Nico. Nico. Chip. Look, Nico. Boo Bam. Huh? Tag. No. Now we're both stuck. What if someone stands on Boo Bam and he loses another sparkle? Hmm. That's it. Potato, we need to help Boo Bam. Can you run through Mr. Diggerty's mole hole here and pop up over there to rescue Nico Snuggly? Uh-huh. Nico, look! You're Beanie Snuggly! Oh, hey! I can show you how I got it into the net earlier. There's a hoop over there I can use. No, Howie. Leave Boo Bam alone. Oh. Quickly, Super Potato. You have to get to Boo Bam before Howie. Ba -ba -ba! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Howie. What? Where'd it go? Oh, thank you, <gasps> kind Potato. You really are a superhero, Mousy. Sorry. <laughs> Stop playing, please, class. Chip, Nico, your snugglies? Yes, Mr. Diggerty. We brought them outside to keep them safe. We weren't playing with them. We put them away, like you said, see? To keep them safe? What? Did you think your snugglies needed protecting? Well, yes, because Howie took Boo Bam earlier, and then he dropped him. And Boo Bam lost a sparkle. Howie, did you take Nico snugly without asking? Mm-hmm. You know, Hoppers, this has given me a diggledy idea for a song. Can I hug your snugly wuggly? Maybe later, not right now. Your turn, Giglish. Please, can I hug your snugly wuggly? Thanks for asking nicely. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nico Panda, your turn to be in the middle with Boo Bam. Can I hug your snuggly wuggly? Maybe later, not right now. Please, can I hug your snuggly wuggly? Uh, thanks for asking nicely. Yes, yes, yes. Up you go then, Howie. Thanks, Nico. Ah! 
Mwah. So you see, Hoppers, if you ask nicely and say please, your friends are more likely to let you use or play with something that belongs to them. Howie, perhaps you'd like to be the one in the middle this time? But I don't have a snuggly of my own, not since... Here, Howie, borrow Boo Bam. <laughs> well done, Nico. See, if you're careful with other people's things, they might let you use or play with them again. That was very kind of you to let Howie have Boo Bam, Nico. And it was kind of you and Potato to keep Boo Bam safe on his first visit to Rainbow Forest School. Thanks for asking nicely. Yes, yes, yes! <laughs> Cheese! How does it look, Mr. and Mrs. Flingo? Oh, this photo is a beauty, Chip! Photographs are the perfect way to remember today the start of our retirement. And your very first synchronized swimming show. That's right, Chip. We're so glad you're here to see it. Oh, little mama, we have a favor to ask. Would you mind taking photos of our swimming show? We want to share them with our friends who couldn't be here today. Of course, it would be my puggy pleasure. Oh, that's flip flap fantastic. Thank you. Ah! Now, must fly, I have a swimsuit to squeeze into. See you at the show. Ah! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> Let's go and get our seats, Chip Dip. Oh, am I glad to see you, little mama. A Pete Penguin should be working at reception this evening. But his car has broken down and he can't get here. <sighs> oh, don't worry, Mrs. Hippopotamus. I'll stand in for Pete at reception. Oh, thank you. You are a hippo's hero. But, Mama, if you're working at reception, you won't be able to watch the Flingo show with me. Hello, little Mama. Hi, Chip. I couldn't help overhearing. Giglish and I are here for the Flingo show, too. Would Chip like to watch it with us? We can sit together, Chip. <laughs> Mama, can I? You can, Chip. Thanks so much, Jillian. Come on, then, Chip. Let's find some good seats. Oh, but what about the photos of the Flingos, Mama? You can't take them if you're not watching the show. Oh, you're right, Chip Dip. Hmm. <gasps> Could I take the photos instead, Mama? Puggy pleasey? That would be really helpful, Chip. Here, I'll show you how to use the camera. We'll meet you inside, Chip. Okay. When you see the photo you want to take on this screen, press this button, okay? Yes, Mama. How about you try taking a photo of me? There you are. Hi, Mama. Say cheese, please. Cheese, please! Great work, Chippy Dip. And if you swipe the screen like this, you can see all the photos which have been taken. Wow! Now give me your swimming bag, and I'll keep it here until after the show. Then you can have a splashy swim! Thanks, Mama. Bye! I'm going to take pugtastic photos of the Flingos, Potato. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can't see Gigglish. Can you see her, Potato? Hmm. Oh, did you? There she is. Thanks, secret friend. Hi, Chip. Look, my dad. <laughs> He's the host of the show. Daddy! Welcome, everyone, to the Flingo's Synchronized Swimming Show. Let's have a great big round of applause, please, for... The Flingos! Wow, the Flingos are flaptastic! Oh, yes, you're right, Potato. I need to take photos. Oh, this photo's no good. I can only see Pop Fan's head. Mm. What's up, Chip? I can't see the Flingos to take a good photo of them. I've got a great view of the Flingos. But then I do have a long neck. <laughs> do you want me to take the photos instead? Uh. <gasps> Thanks, Gigglish. But I think I can get some good photos from over there. Jillian? Can I go and sit in that empty seat to take my photos, please? Sure. 
I can keep an eye on you from here, little pug. Thanks. See you in a bit, Gigglish. Bye, Chip. Excuse me. <laughs> Thank you. And now the Flingos will perform to a song from their favorite ballet, Flamingo Lake. Take some good photos this time, Potato. Uh -huh. oh, did you? oh, mousy friend, you want to see the photos I've taken? Uh huh. Uh, uh. Oh, these photos are no good. The flingos look teeny tiny. Uh huh. It's because we're too far away, Potato. I have to find a seat closer to the flingos. Drinks and snacks. Can I get y'all any drinks and snacks? You want to take a ride down to the front on Mrs. Hippopotamus's tray? Uh-huh. Oh, you'll be able to look for a seat closer to the Flingos. Okay, you go. But stay secret, Potato Pal. <laughs> <laughs> potato! <laughs> Popcorn! Ice cream! Be safe, Potato! Drinks and snacks! Excuse me, Mrs. Hippopotamus. Could I buy some popcorn, please? Sure! <laughs> you found an empty seat near the front? Uh-huh! Oh! Is it next to Mr. Bear? Uh-huh. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> and Hungry Berry from my Happy Hoppers class. Uh-huh. Pugtastic! Hi, Mr. Bear. Um, can I please go and sit next to Barry? If the seat's free? Sure, Chip. As long as it's okay with Lil' Mama or Papa. Oh, I'm here with Mrs. Grand. Jillian, can Chip come sit next to Barry? That's fine, Chip. You're good to go. Yes. Thanks, Mr. Bear. And thanks, Potato. <laughs> oh, hey there, Chip. Hi, Barry. Wow, you have a pugtacular view from here. You're really close. Yep, I know. Thanks, Dad. Hmm, you want some popcorn, Chip? <sighs> no, thanks, Barry. Aww. I'm taking photos for the Flingos. They'll be so disappointed if I don't get good ones. Get ready for some wild moves that will really float your boat. The Flingos are Disco Dynamos! Fantastic, Potato. Finally, I've got some good photos of the Flingos synchronized swimming show. And now we come uh -huh. to the grand <gasps> of the Flingo Barry's show. popcorn it's got in the way of my photo. And this one. And this one. The Flingos need to focus, so I must ask you all to be very quiet. Uh, oh, uh, uh, very quiet, please. <sighs> the show's nearly finished, and I don't have any good photos. Oh! Uh-oh. Is something the matter, Chip Pug? Uh, yes, Mr. Grand. I haven't got any good photos of the Flingos doing their synchronized swimming. And I'm running out of time. Maybe you could come even closer, Chip. You can join us in the pool to take your photos. But won't your camera get wet? No, it's waterproof. Just like these old feathers of ours. <laughs> This is a puggy perfect place for taking good photos of the Flingos. Uh-huh. What a display of skill. This lucky young pup is a star photographer. From the top of her puggy snout to the tip of her curly tail. Wow. Hamilton <laughs> Recreation Center has never seen anything quite like this. What a show, ladies and gentlemen. What a show. There, your Pugtastic photos are on the Happyton Recreation Center website. How wonderful! Now everyone who couldn't come to the show can see us in action. 
Thank you so much, dear little Chip. No puggy problem. Thanks for letting me dance with you, Mr. and Mrs. Flingo. It's just a shame you're not in any of these photos, Chip. Hey, Chip, <laughs> you were amazing. When they lifted you up and you went wee! <laughs> I took a photo of it on my dad's phone. Look! I love it. Thanks, Barry. Well, would you look at that? Our little puggy superstar. We'll send the photo to you. Thanks for a great show. You're welcome. Now we better fly. <laughs> Chip, that was incredible. Thank you. Bouncing and taking photos at the same time. Amazing. See you at school in the morning. We've got P.E. tomorrow, remember? See you, Gigglish. We did it, Potato Pal. We took great photos of the Flingos. Uh-huh. And we even starred in the show. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, Potato. Okay, then. Who's ready for a week at school sleepaway camp? Yeah! Yeah! Time to get on the bus, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Todd. You ticklish baby sis. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Spuddy. Going to your first school sleepaway camp. Oh, puggy huggy. Oh, have the most pugtastic times, Spudster. I'll try, Papa. Hey, Chipolata. Mr. Buffalo had a couple of spare camp t-shirts, so I asked if you could have one. Look, the pocket is a tent. I love, love, love it. Thank you, Spud. See you in a week, everyone. Puggy, love you. Love you too, Spuddy Spud. Bye, Spud. Hey, Chip. Hi, Howie. My sister Hortense gave me a spare T-shirt, too. I'm keeping snacks in the pocket. My potato snuggly is going in mine. <laughs> you and that snuggly. <laughs> the pocket's puggy perfect, isn't it, my secret mouse friend? Uh -huh. Bye, Spud. Bye. Bye. Love you. Okay, Chip Dip. Time for school. Ooh. Shall I take your T-shirt home, Chip? You don't want a fine T-shirt like that getting messy or torn in class. Mm. Can I keep it on? I'll be careful. Puggy, pleasey. <laughs> well... Okay. Thank you! Bye! Bye, Bye now! Happy hi, Nico! Happy hi, Chip! I love your new T-shirt. Thanks! Spud gave it to me before he went to sleepaway camp. <laughs> hey, T-shirt twin! <gasps> Wanna sit together today? Um... Okay. But, Chip, we usually sit together. Sorry, Nico. <sighs> My lovely happy hoppers, that was the last time I'll take class attendance with you because... I think we all know that sound. Your usual teacher returns today. Yay! Mr. Diggity! I'm Diggledy back from my eye operation. Now, give Mrs. Whale a happy hopper thank you for teaching you while I was away. Thank, thank you, Mrs. Mrs. Whale! Until next time, Happy Hoppers. And thank you. <laughs> now, class. Tell me what you've been doing while I've been away. Giggleish. How are you? Tell me what is new. I can stand on one leg and count to ten now, Mr. Diggory. Oh, one, very two, good. Three. Very bear. How are you? Tell me what is new. I've been... Uh, uh... I'll come back to you, Barry. Peter Wolf, how are you? Now tell me what is new. I got a scrape on my knee. It's got a bandage, see? Oh, dear. I'm still trying to remember, Mr. Diggerty. Jip, how are you? Now tell me what is new. I got this T-shirt from my brother Spud, and it's just like mine. Spud's at sleepaway camp for one whole week. I want to keep my t-shirt on till he gets back. Ooh. Very stylish, Chip. I've remembered what's new, Mr. Diggerty. Yes, Barry? We moved to a new house. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Happy Hoppers. For this numbers activity, please paint one dot in the first box, in the second box, two dots, and in the third box... Three dots, Mr. Diggerty. Exactly right, Gigglish. Now, paint those diggledy dots, everyone. T-shirt twin coming through. Oops. Sorry, Chip. Howie, you've splashed paint on my T-shirt. I did say sorry. May I suggest taking the T-shirt off, Chip, before more paint gets on it? But it's my special T-shirt. 
I really, really want to keep it on, Mr. Diggerty. I'll be extra careful with it from now on. Well, okay, Chip. Let's stick with Nico for the rest of the day and stay out of Howie's way. Uh-huh. Hi, T-shirt twin. Ah. <laughs> Hi, T-shirt twin. <sighs> and write your number two on your whiteboard, please. Mm. <laughs> oh, sorry, Chip. <sighs> so much for staying out of Howie's way. At least we can walk home together, Chip. Just you and me. You're right, Nico. Hi, Mommy. Oh, hi, hi Bodie. Hi. Hi, Chip Dip. How was school? Oh, your T-shirt is very dirty, Chip. I think you should take it off. Mama, I know it's dirty, but please, can I keep it on? Well, I guess so. Hi, T-shirt twin. Well, hello, Howie. Now, seen as Spud and Hortense are at sleepaway camp, your Grammy and I thought it would be a lovely idea to take you two to the Happyton Pizza Piazza. Arr, 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 I love pizza! Arr, arr. Me too! <gasps> Can Nico come for pizza too, Mama? Of course! The more the buggier. Oh, thank you, little Mama. But Nico has a piano lesson tonight. Maybe another time. Okay. Happy bye, Chip. Happy <laughs> bye, Nico. <laughs> to the Happyton Pizza Piazza, T-Shirt Twin! <laughs> Thank you, Mama. I've never sat at a Happyton Pizza Piazza table without grown-ups before, Potato. Uh -huh. Cheesy pumpkin pizza. Puggalicious. I'll share it with you. I promise. <laughs> Hi, kiddos. What can I get you? I'd like a cheesy pumpkin pizza, please, Mr. Octopus. Me too! Uh, please? Two cheesy pumpkin pizzas coming right up. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's my T-shirt? Howie made it even messier, Potato. But I'm still not taking it off. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, Potato, you can have some pizza. <laughs> Look, Chip! Pardon. <laughs> <clears throat> Oops. Pardon me. I'm hungry for more pizza. Oh, me too. Someone ate more pizza than I thought they would. Very good eating, pups. Have you got room for ice cream? <laughs> yes, Puggy, pleasey. Oh, oh! <laughs> Choose what you want, and I'll order it when Harriet and I have finished our pizzas. I hope they finish soon. Hmm, <laughs> I smell more pizza! <laughs> Howie, that's not your pizza! <laughs> <laughs> Yum! Come on, Chip. You're still hungry. You take some. <laughs> mm -mm. Here it comes. Delicious pizza. You know you want it, Chip. Uh -uh. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Here you go, T-shirt twin. Oh, uh, thanks. I mean, um... Go on, Chip. Eat it. Chip, <gasps> what are you doing? Eating pizza? I... I was still hungry, Mama. But you knew you were getting ice cream. You should have waited, Chip. And look at your T-shirt. <laughs> and Howie, don't think I didn't see you take that pizza and pass it to Chip. Now say sorry to Mr. Octopus, please. Sorry, Mr. Octopus. Sorry, Mr. Octopus. Apology accepted, kiddos. No ice cream for you, Chip. No ice cream for you either, Howie. My T-shirt is a real mess, Potato. Uh -huh. Take it off, please, Chip. Come to the washing machine. I know I should have let you take my camp T-shirt home before school, Mama. I just wanted to keep it on. Well, sometimes Mama knows best. Now, pop it in the washing machine with the other dirty clothes, please, Chip. When it's clean and dry, we can talk about you wearing it again, but not at school. 
<laughs> and not at the Happyton Pizza Piazza with Howie, hmm? It was so unlike you to take food that didn't belong to you, Chip. I know. I'm sorry, Mama. And I puggy promise never to do it again. <gasps> Look, Mama! Tot nearly stood up! <laughs> oh, <laughs> what a clever little puppet! <laughs> sorry that I listened to Howie instead of you today, Potato. I don't make good choices when I'm with Howie. I make better choices when I'm with Nico. Uh huh. Oh, did you? <gasps> Nico! Good night, my best panda pal. Good night, best puggy pal. Oh, yeah. And potato pal, too. Night, night, potato. <laughs> I hope Nico will be able to see me today, Potato. Aww. I know he's cross with me after I got him into trouble yesterday. <laughs> but I want to say sorry and ask him if he still wants to be my best friend. Aww. Thanks, Potato. Now hurry up, secret pal. <laughs> <sighs> I'll get the door, Mommy! Nico sounds excited to see me. Nico! Chip! Oh, I wasn't expecting it to be you. Huh? <gasps> Mommy! Bodie! He's here! Chip, it's my daddy! Daddy! <laughs> Nico! Oh, you've grown! I've missed you. Sorry. Nico I hasn't seen his daddy in a while, okay, Chip. Daddy. He'll want to spend time with him. Oh. So, Nico won't be able to talk just now. He might be able to play later, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Amanda. Andy, good to see you. Hello, Bodie Bo. <laughs> <laughs> so what's been uh. happening? <laughs> oh. oh, Mama. Nico's busy with his daddy. So I don't know if he still wants to be my best friend. I saw. Oh, little puggy pup. I'm sure you'll get to talk with Nico later. Maybe that's him already! Wait, Chip! It's Paco! Paco? Hi, Chip. Hi, little mama. Spud! <laughs> 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 Hi, Lily! Oh, you can pick Paco up whenever! <gasps> Is Totsy Tot hungry for a snack? Check out what I've brought over, best puggy bud. My new walkie-talkies! You have to press this button and speak into here. Say over when you're done speaking, and Roger if you understand. Awesome! And we can talk to each other when we're in different rooms. Watch! Bud, are you receiving me? <laughs> over! <laughs> Roger, receiving you loud and clear, Paco Pal. Over! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Potato, I want to play with Nico again, just like Spud is playing with Paco. But I don't even know if Nico still wants to be my best friend. Oh. <gasps> oh! What is it, Potato? <coughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Where are you, Roger? I mean, Paco? Over! <laughs> mm. oh! Nico's picture! He gave it to me to say he hoped we would be Puggy Panda Potato best friends forever. Uh-huh. Oh, huh? Oh, you think I should draw my own friendship picture for Nico? Uh, yeah. Oh. And leave it under his door? Uh-huh. Ah, so when he's finished playing with his daddy, he'll see it and know I still want to be his best friend. <laughs> wow, that's a big idea for a little mouse. Thank you, Potato. Let's draw. Look, Potato. You, me, and Nico on the bumper cars. Friends having fun at the fairground. Together. You know what, Potato? I'm not going to draw Nico a picture. Huh? I'm going to give him this special photo instead and write that it's from me. Then he'll know I want to be best friends, just like we were that day at the fair. <laughs> Oh, Nico, I know you are busy with your daddy, but when you get this, please tell me we are still best friends. Love, Chip. Now, 
We need to give it to Nico. <laughs> Potato, wait for me. <gasps> Heidi, Potato. Paco calling Spud. Where are you? Over. Boom! <laughs> Whoa! Over. <laughs> 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 there you are, Totsy Tot. Better hoodie up, Potato Pal. <gasps> Shall we get that puggy pumpkin face cleaned up? <gasps> oh. Mama, can I go to Nico's again? I want to give him my photo to show him that I want us to be best friends forever. Aw, okay, my chippy dip. Tot and I will watch you. Right, Tot? <laughs> ah! <gasps> Hi, Chip. Over. I mean... Hi. <laughs> Paco, I'm at the front door. Over. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Thank you, Potato. Oh. Hey. Go, Nico! Go, Nico! <laughs> Nico's having so much fun with his daddy. That's nice for him. When Nico sees the photo of us all together, he'll come and tell me that he still wants to be best friends forever. I just know it. Trust me, he's good for you. Come on, watch me, watch me, like this. Nico must have seen the photo we put under his door by now. I hope he liked it. <sighs> Potato, what if Nico doesn't want to be my best friend anymore? Aww. Spud to Paco. I've just entered Chip's bedroom. Over. What you doing? Over. <laughs> uh, conversation over. For a bit. Uh, over. Chip Squeak? What's up? Over. I mean, just, what's up? I don't think Nico wants to be my best friend anymore. Don't cry, little sis. It'll be okay. I remember Paco and I had a falling out once about how to do a kickflip on a skateboard. We stopped being friends for a whole day. But then we talked and everything was okay. I've not been able to talk to Nico all day, Spud. So I left him a photo of us to show him I still want to be best friends. But he hasn't come to see me. <sighs> But his dad's visiting him, Chip. I know. But I still want to speak to him. Spud, <gasps> are you there? Over. Roger. Just a minute, Paco. Over. Chip, I have a plan to help you talk to Nico, even while his dad's around. Paco, meet me in the garage. We have a mission. Over. Roger that, Spud. Over. Come on, Chip. We need you, too. No thanks, Spud. I don't feel like playing. <laughs> It'll make you feel better. Super Spuddy Puggy promise. Oh. Uh huh. Okay. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> okay, Chip. If Nico was here right now, do you know what you'd want to say to him? I think so. Good. I want you to say it into Paco's walkie-talkie when you hear me say, Go, Chip! But I don't want to tell Paco. I want to talk to Nico. Give it a go, Chip Bolada. Remember, talking helps. Okay. did a bad thing, Nico. I got you into trouble at school. I want to say sorry again and tell you that I still want us to be best friends. And I hope that you want to be friends, too. I miss you, best friend. I miss my best friend, too. Huh? I said I miss my best friend, too. Over. I heard everything you said through the walkie-talkie, Chip. I'm still your best friend. I just haven't had a chance to see you today because I've been with my daddy. I'm sorry, too. <clears throat> Nico, look what I found under our doormat. Looks like this is from you, Chip. It's for Nico. You didn't see it earlier, Nico? No. It's a photo of our puggy panda potato day at the fairground. Thanks, Chip. 
Oh, oh sorry, sorry, potato. potato. Puggy Panda the potato, potato best friends, friends forever. Oh. Best friends always know how to say sorry and forgive. I'm glad Nico's chosen a best friend like you, Chip. Mission accomplished. <laughs> oh. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for helping Nico and me make up, big bro. You really are a super spud. <laughs> it's Grandma and Gordy! <laughs> Hello, pups! We've brought treats! Pumpkin tacos for everyone! Yummy! Oh, awesome! Delicious! And speaking of tacos, we have exciting news to share. We're turning Flingo's store into a Pumpkin Taco Restaurant! Yeah! Yeah! A taco restaurant here in Welcome Walk. How about that, Potato? <laughs> here you go, chip doodle Thank you, Grandma. Potato! <laughs> <laughs> Puggy morning, Potato. <sighs> Wriggly Giggler Tot's awake. Let's go and see her. Race, you dare! <laughs> okay, you won, Potato. Good morning, little Puggy sister. <laughs> Tot, you're standing up for the very first time. <laughs> Is that you, Chippy Doo? Quick, hoodie up, secret potato pal. <laughs> Morning, little chip. <sighs> Papa, Mama, Tot stood up. Look. <laughs> oh, well, she was standing up. Oh, I can't believe we missed it. Right. Come on, Totsy Tot. Show everyone what you can do. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that's terrific! <Yay. laughs> well done, little Puglet. I'm so Puggy proud of you. Oh, we're Puggy proud of you both. What a good big sister you are, Chip. Encouraging little Tot to stand up. <laughs> Thanks, Mama. It's a shame Spud isn't here to see Tot standing too. I know. Let's film this important Puggy family moment. Spud can watch it when he gets home from sleepaway camp. Oh, Pugtastic idea! Whoa, little Totsy Tot. Tot nearly pulled herself out of the crib, Mama. Mm-hmm. And it wouldn't be good if she fell and hurt herself. You know, I think Puggy Tot's ready to start sleeping in a proper bed. Hear that? You're getting a bed like mine, Tot. That's right. You're going to get a chip dip bed. Huh? No, not my bed. And action! Smile, Chippy Pug Pup. <laughs> oh, look at our little Tot standing on her puggy paws. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, growing up Tot. <sighs> Mama said Tot's going to get a chip dip bed. Do you think she means my bed, Potato? Oh. I love this bed. But I don't want Tot to have it. Maybe I should go and tell Mama and Papa that I want to keep my bed. Uh -huh. But then they'll think I'm not being a good big sister. Get dressed and come downstairs, Chip. We're having a special puggy pumpkin breakfast to celebrate Tot standing up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Potato, let's get ready for breakfast and think about this. Papa's pumpkin waffles. And in honor of Tot's achievement this morning... They're standing up! Outstanding! <laughs> <laughs> I think Tot was very, very hungry after all that standing up. Come on, little Tot. Oof, let's get you cleaned up. And I need a coffee top up. <laughs> Oh. Chip, come upstairs and see this. Can I, Papa? <laughs> you can. Off you go, Chip Pug. <laughs> oh. Oh. Talk crawled all the way here and stood up again, Chip. She wanted to bounce on your bed. 
It's my bed, Potato. Tot can't have it. Where would I sleep? <laughs> oh, I think Totsy Tot wants to bounce with you, Chip. I guess it does look like fun. Betty Bouncy Bouncy Tot, Betty Bouncy Bouncy Chip. <laughs> oh, let's get you dressed, Puglet. <laughs> you do love Chip's bed, don't you? But I love my bed, too. It's green and bone-shaped. <sighs> uh -huh. Look, Chip. How cute is Tot in your old onesie? That's my onesie. Bed, yes. You like that bed. I know, Tot. <laughs> Tot has my onesie, and Tot is getting my bed, Potato. But I want to keep my bed. <laughs> That's it! We'll use my teddies to block the door. Mom and Papa can't give my bed to Todd if they can't get in here to take it. <laughs> Potato, I know you want me to talk to Mama about this, but I just think the teddy door block will work. <sighs> uh -huh. Great. Help me line up the teddies, Sergeant Potato. Uh -huh. Orangey Rabbit, Squadge, Mr. Crawly Crawler, Boodle do. Unlucky Ernie, you have a very important job. Save my bed. <laughs> now, hop to it. <laughs> Great work, Teddies. And you, Sergeant Potato. <gasps> Potato? <laughs> Sorry, my potato pal. <sighs> now no one can come in. <clears throat> Are you still hungry, potato? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I could eat more, too. We didn't finish that last waffle at breakfast, did we? Uh -huh. Good idea, Sergeant Potato. Your mission, climb out through that hole and fetch the food. I'll stay here to guard the bed. <laughs> Time to take apart your old crib, Tot. We need to make room for your new bed. <gasps> it's happening! Mom and Pop are making space for my bed to go into Tot's room. But they won't be able to get in and take it with all you teddies here. <sighs> I do love Tot, but I do also love my own bed. <sighs> Hi. Sergeant Potato! <laughs> Picnic. As long as we have food, we can stay in here forever. And Mama and Papa won't be able to take my bed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, no. All that pumpkin juice has made me need the bathroom. Chippy Dip, you okay in there? <laughs> What's this? Sorry, Mama, but I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Chip? What's up, my little puglet? Come out and talk to me. I want to understand. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I don't want Tot to have my puggy bed. I know she'll be sad, and you and Papa will be disappointed that I'm not a good big sister, but I just love it. What? Totsy Tot isn't getting your bed? But this morning when you were talking to Tot, you said you're going to get a chip dip bed. Oh, Chip. I didn't mean your actual bed. We've bought Tot a bed that's the same as yours. Papa ordered it a few days ago. You mean I'm keeping my bed? Oh, oh Mama! Hmm. Papa and I wouldn't take your puggy bed away. And you should have told us that you were worried so we could talk to you about it. Yes, Mama. I know that now. <gasps> Papa's taken apart Tot's crib. She'll have nowhere to sleep if her new bed doesn't get here soon. <gasps> it's Donnie the Postie! Oh. <laughs> Howdy, Pugs! Special delivery! Thanks, Donnie. Look, Tot, it's your new... Oh, that doesn't look like a bed. Tot's bed is in the box, Chip. We need to put it together. Would you like to help us do that? Yes, Puggy, pleasey. Great. Can you put the box up in Tot's room, please, Donnie? 
No problem. <laughs> 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 And done. One puggy new bed for one puggy little sister. <gasps> my sheets. Actually, my old sheet set will look great on Tot's bed. They'll be puggy perfect until her new sheet set arrives, Chip. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is your brand new bed, Tot. Curly up, safe and snug. Puggy Totsy Tot. Sleepy Tot in your new bed. Sleepy Puggy Snore. <laughs> Tot thinks you're a very special big sister, Chip. And so do we. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy I got to keep my bed. I haven't grown out of it yet. Uh -huh. But I like that Tot's wearing my old onesie. I'd grown out of that. <laughs> Potato, my bed doesn't feel as comfy as usual. Huh? <laughs> Waffle from our picnic! Oh, gotcha! <laughs> hey, Chip! I drew this for you with my new pens! You, me, and Potato! <laughs> Hoodie up now we're in class, Potato. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nico. I love it. Puggy Panda Potato best friends forever. <laughs> it's here at last, Happy Hoppers! Fun day! <laughs> Everyone, gather on the carpet, please! <laughs> you don't want to miss out on fun day fun? Uh-uh. <laughs> okay, Potato. You can stay secret in my pocket today. Now we're all here. Let the fun begin! <laughs> the bottles are not for eating, Howie. Whoops. Now, into pairs, please, everyone. More fun this way! <laughs> ah, good morning, Mr. Diggerty. Nice hat. Thank you, Miss Nash. The gym's all set for fun. <gasps> wow! Oh, trampolines! My favorite! <laughs> We're going to have so much fun, Nico. Now, Happy Hoppers, before you bounce, there are three rules that you need to follow. Rule number one, shoes off. Shoes off. Okay. Rule number two, bounce in the middle of your own trampoline, not at the edge. And finally, rule number three, no bouncing unless a grown-up is watching. Thank you, Ms. Nash! Whoa! A shoes up, bounce in the middle, no grown-up, no bouncing! Shoes up, bounce in the middle, no grown-up, no, grown no bouncing! Ready to bounce, Happy Hoppers? Yeah. <laughs> Chip, you're too close to the edge. Whoa. Whoops. Sorry, Nico. You're not supposed to. Now, Chip, remember what Ms. Nash said. You must bounce in the middle of your own trampoline. It's lucky you landed on Nico's. You might have landed on the edge and hurt yourself. Sorry, Mr. Diggerty. Okay. Carry on, diggledy bouncing. <gasps> wow! I want to do that, Potato. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy... Whoa! Ugh. Oh, Potato, did I squash you? Puggy, sorry. I'll get the move right next time. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy... Whoa! Whoa! Trampoline time is over, Happy Hoppers. Now... A special fun day snack time! Woohoo! Oh, I didn't get to do Gigglish's seat drop. Aww. 
Your teachers and I have made you your very own fun snacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, taste my homemade holy moly ravioli. Yummy. Thank you. Try my Mrs. Woolly's wibbly wobbly pudding, my great grand llama ma's recipe made with all natural ingredients. Thank you, Principal Woolly. Sample my Mrs. Whale's super seaweed sushi rolls. <laughs> 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 Whoopsie, sorry. <laughs> ah, fun day is such a fun day, Chip. Uh-huh. I just wish I could have done a seat drop on the trampoline, Nico. Then it would be even more fun. I'll teach you to do a seat drop, Chip, on my trampoline at home. <gasps> really? Thanks, Gigglish. Did you hear that, Potato? I will get to do a seed trap after all. <laughs> Before our next fun activity, Happy Hoppers, there's just one thing to diggledy do. Clean up! Barry and Gigglish, collect the cups, please. And Peter and Howie, clean the plates. Oh! I'm on it! <laughs> Chip and Nico, can you sweep up the crumbs, please? You'll need to get the dustpan and broom from the storage cupboard. Okay, Mr. Diggerty. Come on, Chip. <gasps> Look, Potato, the trampolines are still here. Uh, Chip, we have to get the dustpan and broom. But, Nico, if I could have just one more try at doing Gigglish's seat drop on the trampoline, I know I could do it. Chip, Gigglish said she'd teach you on her trampoline after school. But I really want to do it now, on fun day. And I'll be so quick. No, Chip, you know the rule. No grown-up watching, no bouncing. You can pretend to be a grown-up and watch me, Nico. Uh -uh. It'll be okay, Potato, I promise. Oh. Uh, uh. Bottom push, Nico. Puggy pleasey. Hmm. No. Puggy panda pleasey. <sighs> Thanks, Nico. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy pug. Whoa! Ugh. That's it, Chip. You tried the move. You couldn't do it. Now we need to go. No, I can do it. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy pug. Whoa. Ow! My puggy tail. Chip, are you okay? My tail. It hurts. Nico? Chip, what are you doing on the trampolines? Oh, I... Um... Ow! Chip, what's wrong? Ow, my puggy tail. Can you wiggle it, Chip? Ow. Oh, good. I think it's fine. But you two should have been fetching the dustpan and broom, not bouncing on this trampoline. What was our trampolining rule number three? No grown-up watching. watching. No, no bouncing. bouncing. So you knew the rule, but you didn't follow it. And look what's happened. Now come with me. What did you do? I know, Potato. I have to tell Mr. Diggerty it wasn't Nico's fault. Mr. Diggerty, Nico didn't bounce on the trampoline. He only climbed up to help me when I hurt my tail. But I asked you both to get the dustpan and broom from the storage cupboard, and you came here to the gym instead. Therefore, you will help Ms. Nash finish cleaning up the cafeteria while the rest of the Happy Hoppers enjoy the next fun activity of the day. <gasps> Oh, Potato. Nico looks so sad. Oh, Nico, I'll help. <laughs> My super fun day obstacle course! Enjoy, Happy Hoppers! <laughs> oh, wow. Watching the others have fun isn't much fun, Potato. <gasps> this is all your fault, Chip. You wanted to do Gigglish's seat drop. And you got us both into trouble. I'm sorry, Nico. Nico? Not eating your cake, Chip Dip? Oh, Mama. Nico drew this picture just for me. But now I don't know if he's my best friend anymore. I'm sure he's still your friend, Chip, but he's probably upset. You broke a rule and got him into trouble. <laughs> I know, Mama. It's so unlike you to break a rule, Chip. I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I puggy promise. 
Maybe tomorrow I could take you over to Nico's so you could say sorry again and make up. Can I go now, Mama? Can I give Nico my cake to say a proper puggy sorry? That's a great idea, Chip. Do you want me to come with you? No, thank you, Mama. I think I want to talk to Nico on my own. Oh, Potato, I hope Nico wants to speak to me. Uh -huh. Oh, happy hi, Chip. Um, happy hi, Amanda. Can I see Nico, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Chip Pug. Nico went to bed early. He was tired after all the bouncing and the cleaning. And Nico has a big day tomorrow. His daddy is coming to visit. Oh, I, I brought him sorry cake. I mean, pumpkin cake. That is so kind. Thank you, Chip. I'll make sure he gets it. Good night. Night, Amanda. In the morning, Mama, I'm gonna go to Nico's house again to talk to him and make up. Good idea, Chip. And in the meantime, you get a good night's sleep. Mm, do you think Nico and I will ever be best friends again, Potato? <laughs> Thanks for trying to cheer me up, Potato. But I don't want to do trampolining again for a while. I just want to make up with Nico. Will you help me do that tomorrow? Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. You're the best snuggly mouse in the whole world. That's what we're gonna do. They're here! Hoodie up, my secret snuggly friend. Neighbors of Welcome Walk, this is Chip speaking. Aww, way to go, Chip. <laughs> my grandma and Gordy are moving into our street right now. Are you ready to give them a big Welcome Walk welcome? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> welcome to your new home, Grandma. <gasps> Chip and Donald, what a pugtastic surprise. <laughs> oh, thank you all for the wonderful welcome. Gordy and I are so happy to be taking over Flingo's store. Which is soon to become our Puggy Pumpkin Taqueria, serving you the tastiest tacos in town. Yay! But we're not ready to open our taqueria just yet. Aww. So, we're opening from here first to give you a taste of what we'll be serving in the restaurant. Roll up for a breakfast taco takeout. Abra Pug Dabra! Ooh. If the tacos are blinking, the tacos are a cooking! Yeah! Oops! Sorry, Chip! We'll help you. Uh -huh. <laughs> thanks, Stomp and Stamp! Mmm, thanks, Grandma! Mm. <laughs> oh, it's starting to rain! Quick, under here, Nico! Oh, my taco is getting soggy. Oh, our customers are disappearing. There's no point cooking if there's going to be no one to serve. The sooner we open the restaurant, the better. Then our new neighbors will be able to sit and eat inside. Why can't you open the restaurant now, Grandma? Come and take a peek. Uh, I'll close up the van. Oh, it still looks like a grocery store. A very empty one. Exactly, chip -a doodle Are those tables and chairs for the new restaurant? Yes, they are, Nico. Gordy and I ordered furniture and paint, too, but we haven't had time to plan where everything will go. Hey! hey, hey. Whoa! <laughs> oh, <dog. laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Nico, I can help Grandma and Gordy open this restaurant today. The tables and chairs could go there, and the yummy tacos could be served there. Or maybe the tables go there. Huh? I'm not sure where's best. Uh, Chip, my daddy's still in town, and I think he might be able to help you. Let's go and see him. I love your doll's house, Andy. <laughs> Actually, Chip, 
It's not a doll's house. It's called a model, and it helps the family decide where furniture should go in their house. Daddy travels the world making models for his job. The model is a smaller copy of a real house. So you can move the furniture around easily and try it in different places. <laughs> <laughs> when everyone's happy with how the model looks, I make the changes in the real house. This model's for a kangaroo family. It's fantastic. <laughs> oh, your little brother's awake. I'm coming to get you, Bodie Bo. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky potato. Andy nearly saw you. This isn't a mousy house, you know. It's for kangaroos. <gasps> oh, you think I should make a model of Grandma and Gordy's restaurant? Uh -huh. I'll help you, Chip, and Boo Bam can watch. Huh? Boo Bam? Boo! Boo, Boo Bam! He's my new snuggly. Daddy gave him to me as a present. He's so cute, Nico. <laughs> Poor Boo Bam snuggles later, Potato. We've got a model to make. Let's go to my bedroom. We can use my bamboo blocks. <laughs> More bamboo blocks, Chip! <laughs> what a marvelous model, Puggy Panda Pals. Tables and chairs and a counter and... <gasps> Can you tell me about this bit, chip doodle That's the taco takeoff machine. When your taco is ready, the takeoff machine shoots it into the air and it lands right in your paw. <gasps> oh, wow! You've made something super special there, Chip. Let's start changing the store to look the same as my model. Oh, but, dear Chip, your model is missing one important thing. A restaurant needs a cooking area. With a place for... A new stove! Welcome to Welcome Walk, Grandma Pug and Gordy. Where would you like me to put it? Hmm. Well, we're not quite sure yet, Donnie, but uh, well, maybe just leave it here for now. Oh, Nico, I didn't think about a stove. And where would it go? <laughs> ah, clever, Potato. Thank you. Grandma, Gordy, that's where your stove should go. Next to the window. <laughs> it's a puggy perfect spot for cooking. And if the stove is near the window, we could put in a hatch. Just here? Well done, Chip. Oh, now we can serve takeout straight from the stove to the street and serve customers indoors, too. Taco Tastic! And our Puggy Pumpkin Taqueria will be ready to open tonight. Um, uh, except we've run out of pumpkins. We need to drive over to Farmer Pat's Pumpkin Patch to stock up before he closes. Oh, sorry, Chip -a Doodle. Gordy's right. Changing Flingo's store into our taqueria will have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, Potato. It looks like it's gonna rain again. And if it does, Grandma and Gordy won't get many customers at the taco truck tonight. Oh. I need to help them change the store into a restaurant now. But I can't do it on my own. <gasps> We have neighbors who can help. Mm. Thanks, Potato. Welcome up. This is Chip speaking. Come on out, Puggy Pleasy. I need your help. Sure. Come, Come on, on everyone. Let's hey, go, hey, Papa. Huh? Building is better. Working together. There's nothing we can't do. First we're fixing, then we're mixing. The store will look like new. With a heave and a ho, ready to go. Painting can be fun. Chip made a plan and with a helping hand, the work will soon be done. Hee ho, this way we go. Bang, bang, rip it. Tighten. Screw. Done. The taqueria looks just like the model and it's ready to open its doors to Welcome Walk. Grandma and Gordy are going to be so happy. 
We're more than happy. This is the most magical surprise ever. <laughs> <laughs> Shipadoodle, you are one very special pug. I am so lucky to be your grandmother. You ready, Chip? Abra Pug Dabra! If the tacos are blinking, the, the tacos are cooking! <laughs> and it's free pumpkin tacos for everyone to thank you all, new neighbors, for helping us open our restaurant tonight. Yay! Just in time! It's raining! Oh. Everybody inside! Um, any chance of a little help with carrying these pumpkins first? We need them for the tacos. Oh, yes. Are you coming, Daddy? Sorry, but I can't, Nico. Hmm. It's time for me to go. But I love you both very much, and I'll see you soon, okay? Oh. <laughs> it was so great to meet you, Chip. Thanks for helping me. Have a good trip. I love you, Daddy. Come on, Panda Pals. We have tacos, too. To me, Chipster. Whoa. A taco? How Flingo fabulous! Hi. Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Flingo. Hi, Chip. Hello, everyone. Well, doesn't our old store make a fine taqueria? We just stopped by to invite you all to our first synchronized swimming show. Fantastic! The show will officially mark the start of our retirement. Would you mind putting this poster in our... <laughs> I mean, your window, so everyone knows about it? No puggy problem. Can you stick it up for me, please, Chip-a-Doodle? I will, Grandma. <gasps> You're keeping my model! Of course. Without it, the Tuckeria still wouldn't be open. Watch out! Taco take off! <laughs> Yum! Thanks, Nico! Puggy <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> morning, Potato. Hmm? Potato? <gasps> Happy hi, Kevin. You slept on my bed all night. Have you seen Potato? <laughs> <gasps> it's Todd's first birthday today. Potato must have gone to see her already. <laughs> Potatoes, there you are. And happy pug day, Tot. <laughs> gotcha, Potato. Phew. Is that a birthday, Tot? I hear giggling. Mama, better hoodie up, my secret friend. <laughs> One year old. Puggy Huggy? <sighs> happy birthday, Tot. I can't wait to go to your pool party later. <laughs> Did someone say pool party? Oh. <laughs> Good morning, Papa. Who wants some puggy pumpkin breakfast waffles before we go? Me! Yes, puggy pleasy. <laughs> Ooh, that'll be Grandma and Gordy. Grandma! Oh. Hi, Grandma. Hi, Gordy. Hello. Good morning, Chipper Doodle. Are we in time for the birthday breakfast? Yep. Papa's making puggy pumpkin waffles. Ooh, yum! <laughs> I'll go and help him. <laughs> huh? Wow. Is that a new ring, Grandma? It's so sparkly. I love it. Oh, thank you, Chip. It's, uh, um, yes, I'm, uh, I've got some big news, chip doodle This isn't just any ring. It's my engagement ring. What's a engagement ring? Engagement ring, Chip. It's a special ring you give someone when you want to marry them. Hmm? Gordy asked me to marry him, <gasps> and I said yes, yes, yes! And he gave me this ring! So is Gordy going to be my grandpa? He sure is, chip -a doodle <laughs> shh, shh. We don't want to tell everyone about our engagement just yet. We must celebrate Tot's special day first. When can we tell everyone, Grandma? Later today at Tot's birthday dinner. Do you think you could help me keep the engagement ring a surprise until then? Sure, Grandma. I've got a secret surprise to share at Tot's birthday dinner, too. I baked a birthday cake for Tot all by myself. Wow! Oh, oh that sounds pug 
delicious. Gordy and I can announce our engagement after you've served Tot's special cake. <laughs> Two surprises in a row. Hmm. Grandma, what if someone sees your ring before dinner? Hmm. Good point, Chippadoodle. <gasps> I know a puggy perfect place to keep your ring secret until it's time to tell everyone. Follow me, Grandma. <laughs> This is where I keep all my special things. Your engagement ring will be safe in here. Thank you, Chippadoodle. Mm, what a clever little pug you are. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone about Grandma's ring, Kevin. Oh, I think our secret's safe. Grandma, if Gordy gave you a ring, what special present did you get for him? Oh. I haven't got a present for Gordy, but that's a great idea, Chipper Doodle. Huh. But what to get? Hmm. Oh! Clever potato. Thank you. Grandma, I have something precious you could give to Gordy. Oh, what a beautiful puggy picture. He would love it. Are you sure, Chip? Mm-hmm. Such a kind Chippadoodle. Mmm. Birthday pumpkin waffles ready. Mmm, puggy yum. On my way, little papa. Woohoo! <laughs> <gasps> Careful, Kevin. That's my special box. Hmm. Maybe Grandma's ring would be safer in my pocket where I keep you, my secret potato pal. Uh-uh. Chippy Dip, come and eat your puggy waffles. The ring is safest with us, Potato. Mm, Fantastic! Thanks, Papa! Mm -mm. Todd's pool party, here we come! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on tight to Grandma's sparkly ring, Potato. Uh -huh. <gasps> What's the problem, Chipolata? Uh, uh, look at that big sign. Yep, the store's been sold. The Flingos are retiring and moving out. Potato, can you get the ring? Uh-huh, How wonderful that they finally decided to take the plunge and become synchronized swimmers. <laughs> Phew, quick, hop in my pocket before anyone sees. Thanks, Potato. We need to keep Grandma's ring a secret. <laughs> Pot's pool party is so much fun! Come on, jump in, Chip! I really want to play in the pool like Nico Potato, but I can't. What if Grandma's special ring falls out of my pocket when I'm in the water? <gasps> I can hold the ring safe in my puggy paw while I swim! Uh, uh-uh. Don't worry, Potato. The ring will be just fine. Come on, Potato. My feet can touch the bottom. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Chip Squeak. <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's engagement ring. <gasps> I can't see it. Oh, Potato. The ring is lost. Mm, I should have never brought Grandma's special ring to the pool. <laughs> potato! <gasps> you found it, Potato. Thank you, Diving Queen. Aha! Come on. No more puggy pool party fun. We need to keep Grandma's ring safe. <gasps> <laughs> chip doodle Quick, Heidi. It's almost time for Gordy and me to make our announcement. I've got your secret ring safe in here, Grandma. Oh, you've brought it down from your special box already? Well done, little Chip. <laughs> hey, Chippy Pug Pup. Did you forget something? No. Oh, the cake I made for Tot's birthday. At a pug? You go fetch it, and I'll get everyone ready in here. Oh, oh, Chippy Dip! Just in time to put the candle on the cake. Pug, pup, pup. Mm. <laughs> no tasting yet, Potato. 
Huggy perfect. Well done, my chiplet. Thank you, Mama. Happy Pug Day to Tot. Happy Pug Day to Tot. Happy Pug Day to Tossy Tot. Happy Pug Day to Tot. Well, that's one way to blow the candle out. <laughs> Oh, I think Tot Puggy loves her cake, Chip. <laughs> it's the big moment, Chippadoodle. Gordy and I are going to make our announcement. Can I have my engagement ring, please? Yes, Grandma. <gasps> Grandma, the ring's not here. Oh, my. Chippadoodle, are you sure? Could it still be in your little box? No, Grandma. Your ring was in my pocket. But now it's gone. I'm so sorry. Oh, my Chippadoodle, you are far more precious to me than any ring. And I'm sure it will turn up. Well, would you look at this? See what I found in my cake. <gasps> <laughs> the ring! There it is. It must have fallen out of my pocket when I put the candle on the cake. Oh, no harm done. Ooh. <clears throat> Pugs, Gordy and I have some exciting news. This is an engagement ring. I asked Grandma Pug if she would marry me, and... <laughs> and I said yes! <laughs> oh, how wonderful! <laughs> There's going to be a Puggy wedding. <laughs> and Gordy, I have a special present for you to say welcome to our wonderful Puggy family. Not a ring, but... Aww. Aww. Oh, thank you. I love you and my new Puggy family to be so much. And that's not the only news. Gordy and I are coming to live in Welcome Walk. <laughs> We're taking over the store from Mr. and Mrs. Flingo. Yay! <laughs> Puggy perfect! Oh, bring it in, Pugs. <laughs> Having Grandma and Gordy as puggy neighbors will be the best, Potato. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, Chippy Pug Pop! Have you taken Spud's clean underwear to him yet? I'm just doing that now, Papa. So you are. Good work, Chip. They're the last thing Spud needs to pack for school sleepaway camp. Aha! Uh -huh, would you look at that? <gasps> My apron. <sighs> just what I was looking for. Now I can start baking Spud a pumpkin pie for his special going away feast tonight. Hee! That was close. Papa nearly saw you, my secret potato pal. <laughs> hey, yo! Huh? Who's throwing underpants? <laughs> Is that you, Chipolata? <laughs> Oops, sorry, Spud. Better hoodie up now, potato. Thanks for the help, Chipster. I'm nearly packed for school camp. I would love to go to camp too, Spud. Just like you. You will when you're older, Chip Squeak. Now, help me decide which cap to wear to camp. Oh, but wait, I forgot. I'm having my hair cut at the groomers later. Maybe I shouldn't wear a cap so everyone at camp can see my new haircut. <gasps> I've never been to the groomers. I want to go too, just like you. You don't need to go to the groomers, Chipolata. You've only got one little curl. Well, I want to go anyway. Mama! <laughs> Mama! Can I have my first proper haircut at the groomers today? Just like Spud? Puggy, pleasey. Hmm. If you go to the groomers, you need to sit very still, Chip. Can you sit still? Still? Easy squeezy, puggy peasy. <laughs> I can be still. I can be still. Oh, right. Still. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right then, Chippy Dip. You can have your first haircut at the groomers today, just like Spud. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Mama, there's a man, Danny Quinn. <gasps> wow, Bodie's walking. Yes. He walked all the way from Flingo's store. Really, Amanda? Uh-huh. Oh, which reminds me, little mama. 
Did you know the Flingos are planning to retire? They'll be selling the store Nico, and looking for someone. I'm having my haircut at the groomers today for the first time. You'll love the groomers. They've got these chairs that go up and down, but when you sit in them, you have to stay, stay still. I know. I practiced and now I'm great at it. <laughs> so, are you just getting your curl cut or are you going to get a different style as well? <laughs> mm -hmm. I haven't really thought about a different style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you're off to the groomers then, Spud. That'll be fun. And I'm asking for a new style today, Amanda. Well, I'm sure it'll be great. Your hair always looks good. <gasps> Nico, that's it! Spud's hair does always look good. I'll ask for my hairstyle to be just the same as Spud's. Bye, Nico! We've got to go! Let's go, Mama, let's go! I can't wait to get my new hairstyle! <laughs> <laughs> Puggy Super Wow! And just wait till you see inside! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Welcome back to... Snippy Clippy Fur Fur! <laughs> Chip, is that you there? No, Miss Gigglish. Very still now. Sorry, Polly. Mama, can I go and say hi to Gigglish? Of course, Chippy Dip. Hi, Chip. This is Polly. Hello, Chip. Hello. Have you come to get your hair cut? Yes, it's my first time. That's great. What style are you going to get? Spud's getting a new style today. I want to copy his. Really? There are lots of styles to choose from, though, Chip. See? I like that one. It would look good on you, Chip. Wow, do you think so, Gigglish? Uh-huh. <laughs> Chippy Dip! Mrs. Anteater Lope is ready to do your hair now. I better go. Bye, Gigglish. Bye, Polly. Bye, Chip. <laughs> Chippy Pip. And remember to sit still. I will, Mama! <laughs> well then, Chip, first things first, a puggy hair wash to get your hair nice and clean! <laughs> <laughs> there, I can see you perfectly now. Ah, and whom do we have here? It's my snuggly potato. Oh, delighted to meet you, potato. <laughs> now this is the part where you have to be... Very still. I can do that, Mrs. Anteater Lope. I've practiced. Haven't I, potato? Well done, Chip. You've just had your very first haircut at... Snippy Clippy Fur Fur! <laughs> I've decided what style I would like now, Mrs. Anteater Lope. I want my hairstyle just like that. Oh, sorry, Chip. Your hair isn't long enough to be styled that way. You have a short pug curl. Mm. Is there another style you'd like instead? But I... Perhaps you can decide while I check on Granny Fan's blue rinse, hmm? If I can't have a style like that, I can still copy the style Spud's gonna choose. Right, Potato? Uh-uh. Oh. Hmm. Oh, it looks like something's wrong, Potato. <gasps> you want to go and find out what's happening? Uh-huh. Okay. Go and see. But be careful, secret friend. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, little mama, but Spud has puggy nits. <gasps> so he can't have his haircut today. Puggy nits? Yeah, some teensy insect friends have laid some little eggs in your fur. Oh, so that's why my head's been itchy. And there's a very easy treatment. Wash your hair with this. It's a special shampoo. And the puggy nits will be gone. But no haircut today. 
because the puggy knits can spread to other fur quite easily. Phew, thank goodness you're back, Potato. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Did you find out why Polly hasn't started cutting Spud's hair yet? Uh-huh. <laughs> Spud's got puggy knits and can't get his hair cut at all? Uh-huh. Poor Spud. Ooh. Hi, Spud. Hey, Chipolata. Looks like I can't get my new hairstyle today after all. I've got puggy knits. I know. I mean, I'm sorry, Spud. Puggy Huggy? Better not, Chipster. Don't want you catching these puggy knits, too. So have you decided what style you're gonna get yet? No. I was going to get that style, but my hair isn't long enough. And now that you're not getting your hair styled, I can't copy you. I don't know which style to copy. But why do you have to copy anyone, Chipsqueak? Why don't you go for your own puggy style? <gasps> That's a great idea, Spud. Oh, I'm gonna miss you when you're away at camp. Gonna miss you too, Chipolata. So, Chip, what style is it gonna be? Hmm. <gasps> <laughs> wow, best pumpkin pie ever! Thanks for my going away feast, Papa. Aw, oh, you're welcome, Super Spud. I'm just glad that the shampoo worked. And you can go to sleepaway camp. And Chip, mm. I think your new hairstyle is the puggy perfect choice. Thanks, Papa. My braid's only little, but the hair elastic is the same color as my potato. See? Cool. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. And look, Papa. I got a sticker from Mrs. Anteater Lope for sitting still when she cut my hair. And I asked for something for Spud, too. One of these badges that they give to the older pups. That's for being the best big brother, Spud. Cause you are right. I don't have to copy anyone. I can make up my own mind. Thanks, Chipolata. And look, because I don't have a new hairstyle to show off, I chose a cap to wear to camp. It's gonna look even cooler with this badge but not as cool as you and your new hairstyle. While I'm at camp, you were gonna be the most stylish pug in Happyton. We're doing the welcome walkies. We're doing the welcome walkies. Where are we gonna go? All the way to the Um, Mama, Papa. Where are we going? It's the last day of vacation, so we can't be going to school. Where, Where are, are we going? going? As a surprise treat for being so good during the school break, we're taking you all to... The, the Happy Tin Fair! <laughs> I love fairs! So let's go! We're doing the welcome walkies! <laughs> Fun at the fair, Nico. Uh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, Potato. <laughs> All three of us. Nico, me, and our secret snuggly friend. Huggy Panda Potato Fun at the fair! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Ooh. Hey, everyone. Hi, Paco. Mama, can I go on the big rides with Paco? Sure. Off you go, Spuddy Pug. See you later. Have fun, Chipoletta. Bye, Spud. Today, little ones, you're free to play here in the kindergarten fairground without us grown-ups. Wow. As long as you stick together. Uh-huh. But if you do lose each other, you meet here at the sunshine seat. That's Terry Owl. He's up high, so you can see him from all around the fair. I've got my kind eye on you. <laughs> We're giving you five tickets each. Whoa, five tickets? Thank you. And you can choose which five activities to spend your tickets on. Oh. All right, get out there and have some fun. Let's go on a ride! <laughs> we are going to have the best time at the fair. Us three together. <laughs> Step right up for the bumper cars! <laughs> yes! 
Let's go on the bumper cars. Hiding in my pocket, secret mouse pal. Chip, ah! ah! <laughs> Rizzo, come on the log ride with us. We can use another ticket for the bumper cars later. Okay. We're coming, Gigglish. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Tickets for that. I've got one ticket left. Me too. We should use them for the most fun ride. Step right up for the bumper cars! Yes! Bumper cars! <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> ah! mm. Whoops, sorry. Howie, where are you going in such a rush? To the roller coaster! It's the most fun ride of all. But you two are probably too scared to go on it. <laughs> Everybody knows that Chip still needs her snuggly. <laughs> oh. I'm not scared of a roller coaster. <laughs> and you know, Nico, it does look like a lot of fun. Okay, let's go on the roller coaster together. <laughs> Please stand here. I need to check you're tall enough for the ride. The roller coaster is really fast and twisty turny, Chip. I know! It's going to be so much fun to go on it together. <laughs> you next, Panda. Please stand here. Ooh, you're just tall enough. On you go. Uh, next! Whoa. Oh, sorry. You're not tall enough to go on the roller coaster, Pug. Huh? The rules say you have to be this tall to be safe on the ride. <laughs> oh, sorry, little one. Maybe you'll be tall enough next year. Next! <sighs> Aren't you coming on the roller coaster, Chip? No, Nico, I'm not tall enough. You'll have to ride without me. But the roller coaster is so fast and twisty turny. I'm wobbly paw scared to go on it without you and Potato. <gasps> I've got an idea. Potato, you go on the roller coaster with Nico. I'll be okay on my own. <laughs> Nico, Potato is going to ride with you to stop your wobbly paws. Ready? Uh -huh. Catch, Nico. <laughs> Thank you, Chip. Roller coaster ready. Hold on tight, Potato. Isn't as much fun without friends. <gasps> hmm. Hello. I'm Chip Pug. Are you okay? We're lost. We're looking for our uncle. Don't worry. I know what to do. We need to find the sunshine seat. But first, we need to look up high for Terry Owl. The sunshine seat is this way. <gasps> Here we are, the sunshine seat. Thanks, Terry. I've got my kind eye on you. <laughs> If we wait here, your uncle will come to meet us. Thanks, Thanks Chip. Chip. Deb! Dave! Oh. Uncle! There you are. Mr. Diggerty? Happy Hopper Chip! Wow! Your uncle is my teacher. <laughs> Chip helped us when we were lost. Chip, 
Thank you, and well diggledy done. That's okay, Mr. Diggerty. Are you here on your own? No, I'm with Nico. Well, I was, but I wasn't tall enough to go on the roller coaster with him. Well, Chip, you may be too little for the roller coaster, but you are very grown up. You brought Deb and Dave to the sunshine seat and saved the diggledy day. Thanks, Mr. Diggerty. Um, Mr. Diggerty, why are you wearing an eye patch? Oh, yes. I am going to the hospital tomorrow to have an eye operation. Oh. Oh, it's nothing to worry about, Chip, but I won't be at school next week. So, you'll have a substitute teacher. Huh? A different teacher while I'm away. Oh. <gasps> Nico! Oh, wonderful! Nico Panda has come to meet you! Uncle, can we go on the bumper cars? Well, y uh, you can, but we'd better hurry. They're about to start. Diggledy bye, Jet. Bye, Mr. Diggerty. Bye, Deb and Dave. I knew we'd find you here, Chip. Oh, Nico, Potato, I missed you. <laughs> Any more for the bumper cars? <gasps> Let's go on the bumper cars. Yes! But no, I used my last ticket on the roller coaster. I can't go on any more rides. Hello, Nico. Hello again, Chip. Sorry to interrupt, but I wanted to give you my last ticket for being such a helpful pug. Last call for the bumper cars. <sighs> Thank you. Gotta go. Thank you. How are you helpful, Chip? I'll tell you both later, but now we can all go on the bumper cars. Uh-huh. Together. <laughs> <laughs> I feel sick, Grammy. Oh, Howie. No more twisty, turny roller coaster rides. It's home time for you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is the most fun ride at the fair. Uh, uh. <laughs> Huggy Panda Potato Tastic! Yoo-hoo! Chip and Nico! Time to go home after this ride! <laughs> Back to school tomorrow, remember? A new semester! Oh, yes, Nico. And we're going to have a different teacher instead of Mr. Diggerty. Really? Wow. I wonder who it'll be. Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Puggy perfect, Potato. Uh -huh. Thank you. Let's show my after-school club pal. Hoodie up, secret friend. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay, Hop. Pretend this is the rainbow jumpsuit I'm wearing at Grandma and Gordy's wedding tomorrow. You look amazing, Chip. And because I'm a bride's pup, I have a very special doggy bowl to carry down the aisle. Pretend my potato is my bowl. Hmm. <laughs> Are you the only bride's pup? No, my brother Spud is one too, and Gordy's granddaughter Glenda. We're all meeting tonight for a wedding rehearsal. What did you say, Sprout? <laughs> Sprout wants to know, what's a wedding rehearsal? Grandma said it's a chance for us to practice being bride's pups, but I already know exactly what to do. Yoo-hoo! Grandma! My grandma's here to pick me up, kangaroo! Bye, Hop! Good luck, Chip! <laughs> Goodbye, Ken! Thank you for After School Club! All set for the wedding rehearsal, Bride's Pop Chip? <laughs> yes, Grandma! Then hop into my puggy buggy and let's vroom, vroom, vroom! <laughs> 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 it's a puggy, puggy, vroom, vroom! It's Grandma's Puggy Puggy Vroom Vroom. Puggy Puggy Vroom Vroom. It's Grandma's Puggy Puggy Vroom Vroom. On the way to the wedding rehearsal! Vroom! <laughs> Here we are! Huh? Grandma, this is the Taqueria. Shouldn't we be at the garden center? That's where the wedding is going to be. The garden center is where the wedding is going to be held, Chippadoodle. But the wedding rehearsal can be anywhere, so long as it's set up to look like the wedding room. 
Now, press my special Puggy Buggy button, please. <laughs> I wonder what the Puggy Buggy is going to do this time. Oh. Count down with me, Chippadoodle. Three, Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> oh, Grandma, your glasses fell off. Whoopsie! I need these or I won't be able to see what I'm doing. Ah, that's better. Shall we? Yoo-hoo! The bride and chip doodle are here! Hello! Puggy perfect timing! We need you over here, please, Grandma Pug, to show us where to put this. Coming! Beep, beep, chip squeak! Whoa! Everyone is so busy doing things, Potato. Huh. Should we be helping to set the room up, too? Oh. Hi, Chip! Glenda! Isn't it just Fabby Waggy Doodle that we're bride's pups? It's Pugtastic! Let's get changed into our wedding outfits! Oh, no, Chip. <laughs> we don't wear our wedding outfits for the rehearsal. We only dress up on the wedding day, tomorrow. Oh? Today is all about rehearsing our positions. Positions? So us bride's pups know where we should stand before we walk down the aisle. Oh. <laughs> and who goes first and when? <laughs> I didn't think about any of those things. Don't worry, Chip. I've been a bride's pup twice before. Stick with me. I'll show you what to do. Thanks, Glenda. We'll be Fabby Waggy Doodah. <laughs> <laughs> Run through. Beep, beep. Oh, Grandma Pug wants those stacked out of the way over here. Oh, my darling groom. Huh? Oh, my Pugalicious bride. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you all for coming to our wedding rehearsal. We're just waiting for... Heiko! Hello! Now you're here to lead us, we can get started. Hey, oh, Chipolata! Come on! Ta-da! The special doggy wedding bulls we're carrying down the aisle. This is Gordy's, and this is the one you're carrying for Grandma. Whoa! Thanks, bud. Don't lose it, Chippy Sis. Or drop it! <laughs> Oh. Oh. Pugs, pups, pooches, cockatiel, everything is in place, just like it will be at the garden center tomorrow. So, without further a pug -a doodle <laughs> let's begin Grandma and Gordy's wedding rehearsal. Hey. Here we go. Can everyone get into their starting position, please? Starting position? What is my starting position? <laughs> yeah, here we go. Oh, yeah. Of course. We should be with Glenda and Spud. Thanks, Potato. That's it, Puggy Chip. Quick as you can. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> uh, sorry. Is the bowl okay? Oh, the bowl is fine, little Pug Pup. Oh, Gordy. Grandma, I'm not being a very good bride's pup, am I? Shush now, Chippa-Doodle. Don't worry. It's why we're practicing today, so we'll all be puggy wonderful tomorrow. This is the bride's pup starting position, Chip. Here, in front of the bride. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> tomorrow at the wedding, I will step onto the platform like this to welcome everyone. Then the music will start. Thank you, Corella. The guests will stand. <laughs> and then our bride's pups will lead Grandma and Gordy down the aisle. First, Chip and Spud. Step with me, Chippy Sis, at the same time. <sighs> That's it. Very good. And now, Glenda. What do we do now? It's okay not to know what to do, Bride's Pups. That's why we rehearse. Put the bowls down here, and then slot them together, please. Thank you, Spud and Chip. You did a great job. Well done, Glenda. I did it, Potato. <laughs> Grandma, Gordy, it's your turn. <laughs> Gordy are dancing! 
dancing! And they're doing tricks! Grandma's glasses! Potato! I have to get Grandma's glasses before Mama steps on them. <gasps> they might get broken. Now everyone except Grandma and Gordy, please sit. I have to sit here, Potato. Can you rescue Grandma's glasses for me? Uh-huh. Good luck, my brave Mousy. Quiet, please. Grandma and Gordy will now oh. read their wedding vows, the special promises they are making to each other. <gasps> well done, Potato. Now hurry up. <clears throat> oh, Puggy Panic! My glasses have gone. I can't read my vows without my... Glasses! Your glasses, Grandma! They're here! They fell off while you were dancing, and we... I mean, I got them back for you. Thank you, Chipper Doodle. I have the most puppy tastic brides pups a bride could ever wish for. <laughs> <clears throat> Shall we continue with the wedding rehearsal? Oh, yes. <laughs> we Puggy, Puggy promise, promise to love and care for one, one another and, and always be there for each other and our family and friends who we Puggy, Puggy love, love so much. Aww. Aww. Oh. <laughs> Next, Grandma and Gordy will put the rings on each other's puggy paws and drink Rudy Fruity Pop from their special doggy wedding bowl. But that's for tomorrow. For now, the wedding rehearsal is over. Well done, everyone. Yay! All right. And as a surprise to say thank you to you all for helping us. Especially our punk-tastic glasses spotter brides pup chip. <laughs> Abra Pug Dabra! Pumpkin tacos for everyone! <laughs> Thanks for the taco, Gordy and Grandma. Now that I've practiced, I really do know exactly how to be a bride's pup, and I can't wait for your wedding tomorrow. Neither can I. Neither can I. And, and neither, neither can, can we. we. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're getting, getting married, married in, in the morning. morning. And we're going to be right there. Uh -huh.